You get, and, uh, you get yours at the Harbor Freight too? No, these are Oakley's. Oh, you might not want to wash them. Will they wash out? They're like Doritos. They make more of them every day. They make it like Doritos. They make more of every day. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Are we on, host? We yeah. are on. Holy shit. We are live from the hive. Live from the hive. That's right. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to give everybody a few minutes. We just got on site, did a little bit of assessment. Yep, we're at the old Dylan's nightclub. And uh, shit, it's been closed, what, Josh, 20? 10 to, 20, yeah. 10, 10 to 20 years, something like that. And, but it was a country western nightclub, and I, hell, I used to come uh, line dancing over here. It's a windy morning also, but I think the wind is going to be in our favor, except for the sound, of course. So everybody out there in Killerby Nation land, let us know how we sound. We know how good we look. Okay, just leave it. You have a bee buzzing around behind you, Hosh. Do I? They're already, they already know we're here. We have Josh with us this morning. Yay! We're a three, three, three-man team. Say good morning. Good morning. Yeah, there he is. There's Josh. Uh, you might remember Josh uh, and his wife Renee were with us out at the um, Ethnos 360 out at the airport out there, McNeil. Yep. Yeah, where Amelia Earhart landed. You guys remember that one? And the bees were in between the damned airplane wings. In the airplane wings. In the airplane wings. In, in between. Wings. All over them. All just it was. You had these air, airplane, you guys can see the videos, the airplane wings were all stacked up. We couldn't find the damn things, and we kept pulling them back, and like, oh, fuck, there they are. They weren't that really that pissy, though, were they? Mm, there was a lot of them, but they weren't super angry. Yeah, they weren't too bad, but these guys, on the other hand, we're in for a holy shit morning here. We're waiting for the owner to show up, um, let us know how the sound is and whatnot, and be, be patient with us. This is war footage. We're going to take a few minutes to get set up. Stick with us. This is going to be a morning of it. A huge removal. This, These bees have been here 20 years? 25 years? I really don't know. No one does. But we're going to we're gonna find out. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. The logistics of getting into the hive is really a, really difficult. Really difficult. Uh, let's go over and show everybody what's going on, Hosha. Who all we got with us? We got a bunch of family. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, people piling in. People yeah. piling in. All right. Good morning, everyone. I'm Reed Booth, Killer Bee Guy. We got Hosh on the camera. Say good morning. Good morning, Hosh. Yeah, this is jo this is uh, Hosh's bee suit. Yeah, it was actually really good timing. <laughs> yeah, got that right. for this job. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Perfect. But uh, isn't it amazing, uh, Josh? You can feel every breeze. Yeah, these things are very breathable, and they, and they're just lightweight and breathable, and will protect your ass, which is the main thing. So we got us a, a big hive. The bees are active as hell already. Everybody, you can see up here in the corner. Um. If you watched any of our preliminary trailers, oh my god, they're extra as hell. And they already know we're here because the fire truck and we smell like venom. Of course, Josh's brand new bee suit, they won't even bother him. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, they're going to bother everybody. And so they're up in the corner of this mansard roof. Here, well, can you see that? Yes. Okay, so right there, you can see where they're coming and going. Yeah. Is your, you got your light. Is your light better? Oh, I want to see if it's any better than this one. We're, we're trying to figure out flashlights, everybody, because uh, we're kind of poor on flashlights. On lighting, as you've noticed from when we're doing shit, we're trying to find some light. Do you have yours on? Yeah. Let's see. That's Let's mine. See. Yeah, mine's not there. It's focused. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, and this is... So we're trying to find some smaller handheld... Um, really powerful lights to use in situations where we're in the dark which is all the damn time under trailers and up in attics and you know like crotch killers <sighs> that was a pain in the ass oh my god yes we're in the crotch yeah that we're in the crotch of here of cochise county that's for sure <laughs> and now uh, and those are what you as opposed out. to the armpit of america uh, the armpit of america the crotch of cochise county <laughs> There's got to be a sap. There's got to be, <laughs> a, gotta be a sap. There's got to be a sap. A topical. There's a topical to take care of it. Those are the Wachuca Mountains behind us, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. Sunday morning. Welcome. I'm holding services. <laughs> yeah. And I do like bacon, so praise the lard. 
That's right. I want my eggs over medium. <laughs> you look across the street and see the flag standing all straight up. To give you an idea how bad the wind look is. Look at oh, how yeah. that you look. Yep. Mm. You see the flags over there at that RV place? It is. What is that? Constant 30 mile an hour wind. Yeah. Something's going. Yeah. yeah. Which actually will be good for us. But this logistics on this thing, while we're waiting for the owner to show up, everybody. Um, this is a pain in the ass. This is a mansard roof, and that's just the they call it. And it's hollow. So we're going to put a ladder up here first and hang from that gutter some of our uh, spray adhesive clamps, like three of them. Yeah. Just to be spray adhesiving. It's not in the wind. It's around the corner from the wind because they're going to come out in force. That's the bee's front door. Yep. That's where the guard bees are. You can see them hanging out up there. Yeah. So there's guard bees galore. And you see how dark that staining is, everybody? Yeah. It literally took trillions of bees to land there. Trillions of bees. They're dirty little feet. Okay, they're not dirty. They're just filthy. 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 <laughs> filthy little they toes. And that's where they take off their sandals. Yes. And the, trillions, literally, to land there to stain that that much. And years and years of it. Again, this thing is old hollow. So what we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to put a ladder up here now another worry that i have is right up here in this corner can everybody see up in the corner up in there yeah right to the between the gutter and the wall there's a bird nest up mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and there's a bird with baby birds now they're finches they're not migratory but we still don't i i can't guarantee anything on this one because this is we got to get rid of these bees so we're going to do our damnedest so we're going to sneak up on the bees after we get the spray adhesive up there just going on the clamps to knock down as many of the attack bees as possible. Also, we're gonna bring the trucks up and whatnot. But you see this under panel here? Can everybody see that with the light? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is, we think, where the bees are right here. And we might end up taking this four by eight off, but we're definitely gonna get a ladder up here on this roof and then take this four by eight, this four by four. So that's a four by four piece of plywood held on with some Phillips head screws right along in here. Yeah. And so we're gonna pop that off. You see how it's rotten over there where my light is? Yep. And so this is, you know, just a rot, just old, old, old. Been here for ever and ever. Probably 70 years or 50 years or something. Yeah. And so we're gonna open that up first because it's easy to work from this roof and uh, be changing out the spray adhesives because they're, they're just gonna go nuts. There's no way to sneak up on them. And another issue that we have, and why we can't sneak up on them, is if everybody looks up here, that's all open. Look at that, you see right there where their front door is? Yeah. That's all open right there. Yeah. You see that? Okay, well, hey, wait, wait a minute. That's all open too. Yeah. Well, oh, oh shit, there, <laughs> yeah. the whole damn thing, yeah. it's just a facade. That's all it is. And of course, going in through the, uh, the roof tile, that ain't gonna happen. That's all, each one of those nailed on. I don't even know why they use this stupid shit, but I like corrugated. What do you think, Josh? Lifetime. Lifetime, yeah, quite corrugated. Spanish tile, you guys know we hate that shit. It's impossible to walk on. Bees love it. Everything loves it. So the, the, everything will live in it. It's just hollow. It just looks nice. That's all. So this is just all going to be all out war. As soon as the owner gets here, we just wanted to get going um, live from the hive. That's what we're doing. Holding services. Sunday morning. Anybody got any questions for us yet? Besides why we're all so good looking? I don't under, I don't know why either. It doesn't make any sense, but you know, just the way it is. Anybody got any questions for us, Hosh? Oh, let's see. Questions, questions. I did not compared to yeah. to com compared to all jobs, where does this rank? <laughs> as far as logistics goes. It's a tough one, yeah, logistically. Yeah, top ten for sure. Yeah. I mean, we're not rappelling off of a cliff. Yeah. That's next week. No, I'm just kidding. Well, it might be. I don't have anything scheduled yet. It's happened, you know. Uh, they're a lot of fun, too. You want to come on that one, of course, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Josh loves it when we do that shit. It's like, a, hmm, how high? <laughs> so, logistically, this is a pain in the ass. Um, and location-wise, too, because we got a UPS store right over there we got a storage unit place back here and neighbors over here so last week Hosh and i came over and we went to all three places called everybody 
UPS totally closed down, warehouse closed, nobody over there at all, early Sunday morning. Uh, and uh, Jessica, the gal at the uh, storage place back here, was very thankful that we let her know. So there's nothing going on back at the storage place, and we went and knocked on the door of the neighbor over here, and they're gone. They're completely gone. I think they went to the lake or something like that. So other than that, we're pretty fortunate because there might be a homeless encampment over there somewhere. <laughs> I think it's farther toward the, toward, toward the west. Towards, yes, yes. Westward, oh. So, uh, somebody, somebody was, yeah, somebody was asking, uh, why we can't put the thermal on this thing. There's no reason to. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it really, I mean, we could for fun, but, and also, I don't know if it's going to show, uh, through, what is that, three feet? Yeah. Josh? Yeah, three, three and a half feet, uh, of hollow. Of hollow. I don't think it's going to show through yeah, that. Yeah. I really don't. Um, it's much better where you got your drywall and immediately behind it you got your comb and you can see the glow. But the good question, the really good question. Usually we use the thermal because it's fun, but also because, you know, it's good for isolating between studs or floor joists or, you know, the roof where, wherever, isolating where we need to cut to see where the hive is. Situation like this, it's, uh, you know, it's just tear it up and find because we know right where they are. But you know, good question, good question. Yeah. We love that thermal too. Don got that for us. Is Don on with us? He is. Oh, good morning, yeah. Don. How you doing? Don Shar out there in uh, Pennsylvania. How the hell are you doing, bud? Is Bob on? Florida Bob? I haven't seen Bob yet. Okay, well he should be on. But how many bees do you guess well, you are know, in here? I've been I, I actually dreamt about this one last night. Yeah. There's not many of them after 30 years of doing this that I actually, not nightmare, okay, because <laughs> I win. Yeah. It was actually a dream. It was like, oh, this is fun. Yeah, okay, things are weird in my world. Um, there literally could be a half a million bees in there. Literally. There could be half a million. Yeah, there could be half a million. It depends on how far, like we were talking before, how far this way they've gone and that way because that's all hollow there could be 10 feet of comb in there i don't know there might be one foot we just don't know and it could be top to bottom it, the whole damn thing could be full so we we just don't know but what we're going to do is give the owner a couple of uh a couple of more minutes to show up yeah. and if she don't show up we're going to get on it you know right, right. She, and she wanted to watch from a vehicle anyway so yeah we're just yeah let's we'll figure out uh, where we're going to pull in, you think it's, uh, I guess if we, we can come over this uh, lip here. What do you think? I don't want to run over these. Well, I know. What do we got here? That's water. There are so there. numerous water. I think we can just hike in the, the little bit of gear we got. We're not going that far. Uh, you know, we can pull up right here, actually. You know? That's gas. That's more water. Yeah. Well, I did pull in here, obviously. Yeah. Track, so I think it will back it in as close as we can. So, okay, okay Hosh, I'm gonna back it in. All right, stick with us, everybody. All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are killer bee exterminators. Killer bees are honeybees. All killer bees are honeybees, not all honeybees are killer bees. But these are killer bees. 100% of the wild hives in Arizona are killer bees, also known as Africanized honeybees. They were created in a Brazilian laboratory in 1957 and escaped. Took over South America, took over Central America, and hit the U.S. in the early 90s. I believe the first uh, first ones were discovered in Texas, actually, in 1990. By 1998, 100% of the feral, unmanaged honeybee hives in the state of Arizona had been deemed Africanized, aka killer bees. They're hyper-defensive, and uh, they kill people, they kill livestock, they kill pets, and they're an existential threat to our native pollinators because they're an invasive species. In other words, they compete with native pollinators for resources. There's only so much out here in the desert, so they really disrupt the ecosystem. Plus, they're dangerous. If you've got an establishment like this, you can't, you can't have a hive on it. It's a huge liability risk.
And uh, they're not just in Arizona. They're not just in the desert southwest. Honeybee Africanization is on the rise all over the United States. Uh, they they had a hive in Manhattan this winter. In the in the winter in Manhattan, there was a big stinging incident. So and uh, some of you will see in the comments, some of our fans start posting, you know, incidents that that they've had, uh, where they are. So it's a big deal, and and uh, we're never going to exterminate them all. Our our goal is to mitigate the threat. Reed, do you want to switch out and I'll get that off of there? Oh, thank you. Yeah, we'll take yeah. this ladder for now. Yep. And we're going to need the, uh, I guess we can pull this stuff off. Because okay. Who knows what kind of tubs we're going right, to need. Right, right, right. You know, kind of shit. Yep. And, uh, do you want to take this? Yeah, okay, very good. All right. Yeah. Hey, guys. All right, here we go. So, Hosh is going to uh, get it all geared up and look good doing it. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Yeah, I just gave him the rundown. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So, thank you. Uh, thank you. Everybody new knows what we're doing. Yay. Well, if we just knew what we were doing now, that'd be really awesome. Anyway. So Hosh, uh, Josh is going to pull down below down here. And uh, I'm trying to think of where we should put up some tape. You know what we should do is run tape. You were right. From that fence around this tree and around that tree. Yeah. And uh, and actually, we should we should run uh, over to that uh, that fence over there. All the way over there, block that off because I don't want anybody even walking down there. Oh yeah, Josh has a gorilla. Hey, Hosh, yeah. hold on on the ladder. Uh, jo uh, Josh may have it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like these a lot. Wow, look at that gorilla, gorilla ladders. Gonna get me some of those. Well, yeah, we don't have any of those. I guess we should get a couple, huh? Hmm. Oh, well. Anyway, right now, one thing at a time. Oh yeah, we got the new cooling vests. Right now we don't need them. It's actually like 60 degrees, everybody. I know, I'm impressed. Middle of June? It should be 100 degrees already here in Sierra Vista. I, I'm all for it, whatever's going on. <laughs> Global swarming, right? So, uh, yeah, those Gorilla Ladder's the way to go. Do you like the Titan better or the Gorilla? Uh, the Titan's shorter than the Gorilla. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Titan or Gorilla. Man, we got to get some of those ladders, that's for sure. That would make things a lot safer. I've never had one. <laughs> anyway, so they don't even know we're here yet, the bees. Thank God. But logistics, getting this, everything set up, get the rigid set up, rigid tools. Uh, we're going to, uh, I got to, now, of course, you guys, as you all know, Killer Bee Nation, I'm going to get my bee brain on. Yeah, so... Uh, we got, and then we have the other clamp also. Yep. All right. You got the gotcha there? The With the what? The side. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have this uh, light also. Yep. I don't think it hurt to have this. Huh? We got our uh, light. So, yeah, the logistics, everybody. We're getting set up for war. Uh, well, we're in beautiful Sierra Vista, uh, Cochise County. I can't believe how nice it is out there. Windy and cool this time of year. So uh, Josh is gonna go ahead and tape that off over there. Good, he's gonna run the, uh, he's gonna run the police tape over there. Uh, Josh has been on with, uh, with me a few jobs and uh, I did, is that gorilla ladder gonna extend out enough to go up there, do you think? I really don't know. Huh? What is it? That gorilla ladder, do you think that's going to extend up enough to go up all the way up there to put that? No, I think we're going to need the big one. I think those ladders are going to be good. Hold on a sec. Here, would yeah. you hold that? Hold on, guys, i got to go see. I think we're going to need the big one. Yeah. Well, we'll need the... For the outside. I don't think the 32 footer, I think the other one. We do keep the honey. If there's honey to be had, See, given the nature of this job, we won't use pesticides on this job. So, we will go in. The game is go in, assess the situation. We don't know what they've got going on in there. Um, go in, assess the situation, and we have to get the honey out. See, the best removal, we do different kinds of removals, but the best thing to do is to go in and get the honey out. You've got to remove the comb. 
because that comb has pheromones in it and those pheromones will attract new hives moving forward in the future. We guarantee these jobs for two years. We don't want to go back and do them over and over, which is really what, what happens if, if we don't get the comb out, unless we seal it up really good. But even then they can smell it through the walls. So we remove the comb and we sell the honey, actually. So we are, uh, you know, yeah, we're, we're looting and, and pillaging. My voice is doubling. No pesticides because we want to use the honey. See, we're, we use also something called the integrated pest management, which is basically we don't bomb everything with as much poison as we can. We, we use poison as a last resort when we need it. If we can do a job another way without using pesticide, we do. With this job, given the logistics of the situation and given the fact that we're trying to get the honey out, we're not going to use pesticide. We don't recommend keeping honeybees ever anywhere in the United States, honestly. And I know that's an extreme position to have or may sound like an extreme position, but the truth is is that and what I'm what I'm going to say is we don't recommend hobby hobby beekeeping. Professional beekeeping, that's that's actually necessary to prop up all the monoculture. You know, the blueberries and the melons and and the you know, all the stuff they're shipping in from California, none of that works without honeybees. Um, and they bring they bring those hives in there and, and they use those hives to pollinate those orchards. Um, and you know, what are you gonna say about that? I mean, how are you gonna feed people without those orchards? Uh, you're not going to feed people those things, we'll put it that way. It, 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 grain doesn't require insect pollination. But anyway, the bottom line is you're trying to feed a big population, you're trying to feed a big population blueberries or almonds, you've got to bring those in. But those are professional beekeepers. What we don't recommend is hobby beekeeping. We don't recommend anybody has a honey beehive in their backyard because honeybees are invasive to the Western Hemisphere. They were brought here by the colonists. Uh, and with honeybee Africanization, they, those hives can blow up. In other words, every bee box is a time bomb. Unless you know, you're a big professional beekeeper and you're, you're requeening all the time and all of this stuff. But at this point, with honeybee Africanization on the rise in the United States, you know, these things, they blow up and hurt people. Right. We're going to get the extension for that because we got that one we can climb up. It's just like stairs. It's awesome. Yeah, and then, right on. And then the other one you can make into an A-frame Yeah. for getting up. For the next for, level. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but we need the big one for the well, side. Okay, this one on the left, I believe. You want me to grab it? Yeah, all right. And then I have to, you got all three of the clamps over there? You got two I of them. I have two of them. All right. There. Hey, guys, we're in for it. Uh getting set up and then all, all, <laughs> all hell's gonna break loose as usual. Something different around here. I gotta grab the other clamp. I got, I got clamps. Okay, never mind, that was stupid. Uh, got some tools here, hammers, whatnot for putting shit down, which I'm really good at. Well, I got the paper right on it, but it isn't obvious. Uh, just trying to, yeah. No, I don't. Okay. We don't need that. That yeah, that's too much. Okay. Yeah, we can just get that one. And hopefully we didn't bring enough tubs. But we brought enough tubs for about a half a ton of honey. But we'll find out. So uh, I want to figure out the logistics on this. These Here's guys. Hammer. Uh huh. Hammer and pry bar. If we need more hammer, I'm going to keep that. More hammers and pry bars. We got them. Oh, good. Taking care so that we don't get a rip in the suit. Gotta love that. Uh, I'm thinking bungees. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take, I got these two new clamps, and um, I'm thinking that because of how this is, I can hang this from the gutter with a uh, spray adhesive in it. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's a good idea. 
And again, I think all my ideas are good ideas. It doesn't mean they are, it just means I think they are. Um, so, uh, let's see here. And then hang them from the gutter because luckily those bees don't even know we're here yet. Uh, oh, look, at he's got a better situation. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that, there you go, stairs. I like ladders if they're like stairs. I don't like them so much if they're not. All right, so, Hosh has the, uh, getting that ladder down. Okay, well, we're just getting set up, everybody. Thanks for so much for coming along. I love you. You know that. Thank you. This is really uh, precarious as fucking hell is what it is. Just getting logistics figured out. Getting all the ducks in a row, all the bees in, a, in the hive. I'm so glad they don't know we're here yet. I have to admit, if it was 100 degrees out, they would know we're here. And uh, this wouldn't be quite as pretty. It would be uh, a lot worse already, actually. So, all right, stick. All right, there you are. Hey, there you are. Stick with us, guys. Get do some logistics and shit here. So here's the plan, Stan. So we do that, and that goes like that. We do this, and that goes like that. I think this is the way I gotta go here. What are you thinking? Oh, just figuring out what else needs to come out. Oh, uh, pu well, putty knife and, I mean, uh, I don't know what else needs to come out. I don't know. Anyway. Well, the old Dylan's nightclub here in Sierra Vista in Cochise County, everybody. Yeah, if you, any of you are just joining us new and fresh and clean on this beautiful Sunday morning, make some popcorn. This is going to get exciting as hell. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of an eye-opener. Uh, as usual, we have no idea what we're getting into. It seems to be every every damn time. Also, I have to think about how this is going to support up there. Point this in the right direction. So that when... Okay, there we go. That's, that's good. All right, well, that'll stay there while I take it up. So my whole plan here is to hook this onto the gutter and hope it's not too wonky. I don't think I can hook this. Can I hook this onto the gutter? Uh, maybe so. Maybe I got this upside down. Uh, logistics. I got my B brain on. Everybody, have to forgive me. Be patient. Be patient or become one. Damn it. Anyway. All right. So they're gonna reopen this this venue here, Dylan's Nightclub, Country Western. Am I gonna have to remember how to line dance? Oh God, I hope not. Jeepers. Trying to get this uh, logistical thing figured out. Now we using we using the screws though, right? We're gonna the the end now that I've gotten up on it. Yeah. That whole end, uh, one by two. Yeah. We can nail them. This is gonna work oh, good, okay. guys. So, so I need to make one cut, pull a one by two down, yeah. and get to the corner of that. So we need a spade bit. Uh, sawzall and just a wood wood bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to get on the armor and get on the gloves and have those guys put that ladder up. And then I'm going to start taking spray adhesive up and see what's going on up there. So let's get totally uh, armored up here, guys. All right. B brain is on. There we go. I mean, laying awake thinking about this shit, um, it's all the logistics. You know, it's all about, it's just how to make it safe for not just us, but everyone. I mean, the whole neighborhood, the businesses, and of course, as you guys know, apartment complexes drive me nuts because too many looky-loos, too many people wandering around. Schools, at least I can shut down. Or hospitals or whatever. You know, we had to rescue the Douglas Hospital not long ago and uh, cut, shut down part of the area on that. We had to rescue the Wilcox Hospital twice last year. We had to rescue the... Uh, uh, the Sierra Vista Police Department last summer. Uh, it's just crazy. Who, you know, it's easier to ask who we haven't rescued. You yet, because you haven't called. <laughs> anyway, if you've got, uh, you got bees in Cochise County, don't risk it. They're all Africanized and they're all a pain in the ass. All right. Do I look pretty well sealed up, guys? All right. Oh, boy. Uh, bee brain is on. I'm in for the, into the action now. So glad we brought Josh along uh, to uh, assist with the manual shit. 
heavy lifting and, and good looks. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. I think we can stand that uh, extension ladder up and I'll take up a spray adhesive and kind of see if I can assess it from there. We'll let everybody climb up and take a look. I mean, from now on, it's just war, you know? Now it's just balls to the wall. Now it's just like serious, uh, holy shit line. Nobody out. Nobody even knows we're here yet. It's kind of amazing. Oh, they know. Oh, they know. <laughs> Josh, Josh is like, oh no, they know. <laughs> yeah. Let me get that up under the gutter. Yeah, that's perfect. That's it. Hey, you want to take a flashlight and go see what it looks like? Lucky Lou. Uh oh, here goes. Here comes Josh to save the day. Alright, I don't hear him screaming yet. There was a bird nest right here at the opening. Not with any birds in it. Nope, not no more. Not no more! <laughs> he said there's a bird nest right at the opening. Can you see comb or anything? Not yet, they're coming around the nest. They're, they're, you know, I, I saw them kill a baby owl one time. Oh, bastards. They're starting to get... They know you're there? All right, so uh, I'm going to take up uh, the spray adhesive. Here you go, Hosh. Do we want to take the camera up? And There's nothing really yeah, to see. To take the camera okay. Okay. Here you go. You want to Oh, no, it's okay. All right, so there's the front door. Yeah, you can't really see in there what's going on at all. Okay, well, they're starting to light up, Reed. Okay, well, then let me get up there. Yep. Thanks. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. coming down. It's so nice of you to bring them down. Thank you so much. Yep. Anyway, oh boy, they're going to not be nice. Oh, good morning, everyone. Ooh, yeah, they're on us. Good morning. Yes. Sunday morning service. Okay. You need a bungee or anything? Bungee, yes. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're not really that nice. No, we knew they'd be mean.
Right, so we'll just keep replacing that. Yeah, we, yeah right. They run we'll out, we replace it, it, come out. It's knocking it. down thousands of them as we speak. Nice. You need a blind fight or anything? Oh, look at that. Yeah, uh, do you need a... actually a seam right here. Yeah. Do you want a, uh, a drill or do you want to sell it No, I have this... Uh, my brake is quartered down. Yeah. I should be able to pull it all, but looking at it, there's another seam that opened up. Oh. The actual opening is like two by two foot by four foot. So those screws are actually just pulling out, right? Well, this is uh, nailed on. It ain't even screwed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reed, you got the flashlight? Uh, no, would you grab it? Sure. It's down on top of the bins down there. Yeah. All right. Well, they're not nice. I'm glad we warned everyone because that's all we can do. Yep, here we go. That's what I figured. All hollow. Shit yet. You know what's astounding to me, Josh? Mm. No rat shit. <laughs> but I just saw him coming out of here. Can't wait to get the flashlight. Oh, Josh has a flashlight. Uh, I can't see shit. Nothing yet. Put it back in the front corner. He's getting the big light. Yeah, he's getting the big light. There we go. All right. What, is it, what do you see? Hold on. Actually, I... Shine it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Secondary oh, roof. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Secondary roof. Yep. What does it look like? It's empty. It can't. Be empty. Well, there's, there's, a, there. there's a void between that's, the facade and the actual are. roof. Oh, that's the little bastards. So we're yeah. going to have to cut this open. Check it out. Here. I'll we'll take out. Okay, here you go. Yeah, yeah cut that hole in. Did he just say that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, look at this. It's empty. This is one of the bigger disappointments of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what that means? No, the, the, the power lines don't run anywhere near. No, here. thank you for asking, though. Yeah. The power lines are back there. Or we would have been even have brighter personalities than we already do. Um, you know what? I think that we're back to uh, cutting this, this out. Wherever our joist is. Wait, we got a cross beam going here. Yeah, yeah what we this? need to do is set the ladder up right here. Right. And we we'll probably through. grab the thermal now. Oh, that's right. a great idea. Right. Great idea. I'll we'll get, get the, the thermal. thermal. Yeah. Hey, Don, we're going to use your thermal. Don Shar sent us the thermal, and so uh, we'll let uh, Josh set up that ladder. I'm going to be uh, uh, in a uh, supervisory capacity at this point. We've got to see what the construction is on this stupid. Damn it! Well, whatever. It, it is, but it is what it is. Want the flashlight? There you go. Thank you. It burns. What does it look like? Nothing as far as this area. They're up above. Go, it goes to the black rock. Oh, it goes all the way through. Is that roof hollow all the way through? Yeah, there's a windage stops all the way through it. Wow. But that area where all the nests were at? Yeah. That's the primary roof. This was an add-on after the fact. Really? So going straight up above your head, back in the corner and cutting that out is the only way to access it. So what we're going to need to do is drill it and pull us down. Right. Without doing any uh, structural damage. I'm going to get out of the way. He's got the thermal. All right. We're letting it warm up. Yeah. Well, at least we got a lot of room to work up here on this roof. It's kind of nice for once. Good grief. All right. So... Oh. 
Oh, I just heard a oh. Hold on a minute. It's, it's warming up. Grab the, you want the flashlight? Of course, with the thermal, you don't really need the flashlight. What's it look like? Well, I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, that's the only place left for Is them. Is the sun shining on here? No. No, it's not. Huh. Why, was there a glow? Yeah. Here. Okay. I think it looks to me this thing's full. Yeah, that's hollow. That's full. So we're gonna have to pull that down at some. Let me let me Can climb up there quick. There? Huh? Can you see? Uh, Go back and look with me, Reed. Hold on. That's the truss cover. See that red? How it's. Red? Oh yes, I do. I think that's our access. Yeah. Do it from the outside. Oh, we may not have a choice. Uh, the end. Yeah, we don't want to cut structural. But you know those those screws, those are all Phillips. Yeah. Screws. Unless we go up from underneath. Well, but that we don't want to get into any kind of structural. You know what? And we can work from. We can get almost to the outside. We can like tear off all this fascia. This stupid uh, siding is what that is. Right. That's where they are. Yeah. It's yeah, got to be. It's no. Well, but you should see this. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, okay. I want to take a look with the. Okay. You want to take a look with the thermal, uh, Josh? No, I. Uh, you know, I'm the grunt. <laughs> you guys are the experts. <laughs> He's a good looks in the uh, muscle. Uh, uh, let's see here. This setting is weird. What is this setting on? This has got a picture within a picture. There we go. Um, de dum de do. Okay, the sun is definitely on that. You guys right. can see that glow. Anyway, you guys can't see, but I can. So there. But you see at the seam? Yeah. And that's that's what it looks like. I think. Well, yeah, no, we got we got to just pull that off. The you know what I want to do is actually I want to I want to reach up there with my gloves and feel. See if it's warm. Yep. Hey, see hey, if it's hey. warm. See if it's. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the thermal so we can save it. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and do that quick, and then if you can feel where it's warm, because you know, I mean. You know, Joshua, you can actually feel it where it's warm. Right, the hot spots. Yeah, hot spots, yep. So, uh, getting a nice collection of tools up here. Nice collection of fools, too. That uh, can of spray adhesive is uh, deployed. Is it out? Yeah, it's no longer spraying. Okay. We'll run up and do another one. It, it reach out more toward the corner, uh, uh, Posh. Or it, Posh? Yeah. Reach out more toward the corner because that's their well, front door, way right, over there. Right, and what I'm saying is it's cool here. It's what? It's cool. Well, you got to go more toward the corner. Their, well, their okay, front door. Okay, but what I'm saying is, is I think the high. Oh, speed. they're in that, yeah, they're in that soffit area? Yeah. This is the weird construction, I got to tell you. Yeah. This is like stupid construction. It's uh, cool. Huh? It's cool. They're not here. Well, they're somewhere. <laughs> it's cool to touch. No, what they're doing is they're flying from back here forward. Oh, well, I have seen that, and it's weird. All right, then, then what, then what we're going to do next is take off this red uh, fascia. They're doing it from outside. They're, this is warm. Where? Right here. They're climbing five feet. This six, seven. What the hell? I've seen it before. This is cool. This is warm, so we can go. Oh my God! That. Well, the, the thing is, it actually makes it easy. Yeah, it really does, actually. Because I, yeah, I yeah. was worried about reaching out over there, but. So let's take. Uh, you don't want to cut through this plywood. I really don't. You want to go in through the outside. Yeah, we'll go in through the outside. Then, yep, yep. I think that's the way to do it. So we'll let. Uh, All right. Do we want to get a second ladder up here? Uh, I don't think we need to. No. I think we can I go mean, ahead and do the gorilla ladder. Well, what I'm saying is, we're going to put one up here. Right. Do we want to get well, the second one next to it? Uh, well, let's the, yeah, let's bring the short one up. Yeah, let's bring the, let's bring the short extension up. Okay. Yep. 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 Go ahead and bring that up, and then we'll let uh, Josh get his gorilla gorillified, <laughs> monkified. Well, this is so weird, everybody. I just never know what the hell. I mean, 
I was really hoping, of course, there was five feet of comb in there. That's what I was dreaming about. Dreams do not come true. Damn nice ladder, senor. It's much easier than everything else. Oh, yeah. Okay, yep, good idea. Grab some bins because we'll probably be needing them. Maybe a garbage bag. Garbage bag? No. All right. Getting it all cozy. Uh, we're going to need the drill. We're definitely going to need the drill with a Phillips. Okay. A Drillips. Look at it. we got to get a gorilla ladder. Man, these things are awesome. Look at that. It's like climbing up damn stairs. Is that pretty rotten? Well, we'll get a Phillips that it'll be easy to pull off, he said with confidence. There you go. All right. There you go. Uh, Can I take the sozzle out? Oh, no, let's keep it for now. You never know. There you go, senor. Got it. See, Josh is senior, senor, and I'm senior. I get my senior discount. Need an extension or something? Oh, look at a secondary entrance exit. You're not kidding. They're coming out there? In the rotten spot, yeah. Oh, they're coming out. Okay. Those guys called it. That's where they are. Because uh, Josh just found another entrance, a second entrance for these guys, which is just always terrifying. I'm really happy with how this is working with the wind, keeping them down, and the spray adhesive idea out there. Um, just knocking them down as they come out. So now, he found a secondary entrance. Oh, yeah? Oh, sh yep. It's farther back? It's, it's well, right away, like six feet. Second? Yeah. That what? Hand it up, I'll show it off. Oh, yeah, show everybody, oh, yeah. Oh, so this is what it looks like. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that. It may be a small one, but it's a secondary entrance yeah, and exit. Yeah, look at that right under, yep, look at that hold where it's rotten. Yep. Totally rotten. Just like me. I know, but how's the hole? I know, but how's the hole? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a loss for once, for work, for two seconds. Yeah. Are those screws going to come out or are they all rotten? Oh, I got... You can change, use a screw to pull the screw. Let me put this other ladder up. Use a screw to pull the screw. There you go. All right, well... Uh, yeah, um, so, did you hear that, uh, Josh? It was cool for six feet. But when he got his hand up right where you are, it was hot. You want to hand me the uh, Pry bar. device? The prying device. Ugh, prying eyes. Do you need something bigger than that? I can get you a bigger pry bar. Oh my god. Oh, of course, double wall. Yeah, hold on, let me get more. Oh, for crying out loud, this place is ridiculous. Wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, what the what? Heads up. Heads up. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Roddy, Roddy, Rottweiler, Roddy. Good well, pull it. Uh, these guys get all hostile. You want to grab a can of glue? Oh, let's get a couple cans of glue. Right here. And there's a bunch in the bucket there. Okay, a bunch. Bunch. You want to you wanna climb up while he yeah, does this? Yeah, I do. I do. I want to get my... Uh, hand you one of these, and I'll... Uh... I wonder where my big blues went. Oh, you better find them. Yeah. Oh, here they are. Oh, here they are. <laughs> he forgot his hand condoms. His hand... hand prophylactics. You want to take this up? Yes. Here we go, guys. We're, I think we're going for a reveal here. I think we're going for a reveal. This ladder is great. You can have two people on it. Right? Yep. Wow. Yeah, uh, if you want to come up, let's expose you want to You want to come up on his? Or? Sounds good. All right. Let me know when you guys are ready and I'll... Hold on. Okay, we'll let him grab the cameras. Hang tight, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, hold on. Let's see what's going on. It's Sunday morning. Nobody's around. Pick some asses, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, and they're pouring out. Wow. Look at this. Bullshit. Do you need that sawzall? Uh. Yeah. Well, the bad part is this end is a truss. 
Yes. Yeah. It's a little tiny gap. I'm gonna show everybody with the light up. This is really astounding. You guys gotta see this shit. How angry they are. My God. Look at this. You see comb? Oh, he's so rotten. Thank you, but how's the wood? Completely absurd. Okay, I keep. I want you to tell me how the wood is. Don't talk about Josh that way. Making a mess. All right, I'm coming. I'm fucking. Okay, we gotta take a look at this. I'm gonna. We got a record breaker. No. Man, they're mean. It's a facade and a facade and a facade. Well, we ain't talking about the girls up the Gulch and Bisbee. What? Oh my! Who's going against his own feet? <laughs> Here, you wanna? Yeah. Oh, what the hell is right? this? No, this? that's structural. Yeah. We yeah. do have to go underneath. We have to go underneath. Yeah, there's no choice. We have to drill some. Ex we have to drill. Take this bay bit, drill four holes, and pull off that piece of plywood and remove all the comb. Looking at it though, the bees were only built up to about right here, so the hive is like here to here. Right. It doesn't look like it's any further this way. No, not really. Uh, then I should go down. Uh, so we're working from inside again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it from up in there. Good yeah, grief. Okay. Oh. I gotta admit, this wind is actually helping us a lot. It is. Because we're not 30 feet up in the air or Can some stupid this? thing. No, you're good. Okay. I got one in my pocket. Okay. Yeah, they're not nice. They're about a three right now. Well, we're going back down, repositioning ladders. Okay, I'm gonna let you get down first. Yeah, we got to reposition ladders. I mean, we ain't doing anything from out here. Yeah, yeah go ahead and do that. Here you go, Hosh. And I'll come down and we'll just get ladders. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, YouTube! You get the, you get the close of that bee is hanging on there. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I'll tell you though, the way that this is unfolding, it's actually much safer and easier than we thought. My concern was that they would be built up out over this lip. And then if you look down below, we're on a grade there. So I was really concerned that they would be in here, but it turns out they built back. And we're on this second roof here. So spade bit four. Yep. Four spade bits to cut out the square. Look at the, Just like look we at, do with a floor machine. See that B on the lens? What about the B on the lens? The oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her little middle finger raised. Total right. fucking narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> We got Just a camera hog on our hands. Total camera hog. We got a, back to the casting couch Here, I'll with grab you. the spade bit. Do I need to brush her off there so everybody can see? Uh, yeah, I Here. think she might be stuck. Uh, she's stuck. Yeah. Stuck on narcissism. Right. Stuck did, on did, herself. She left venom or she's something trapped on the camera in the mirror. Is the camera lens look okay? Yeah, it's okay. You're kidding. Yeah. It looks like shit out here. Yeah. Jesus. Here, can I hand you this while I go get that yeah, spade Yeah, let me bit? get some nails and shit out oh, of here. Oh, okay, right okay. Here. We do not want to accept that down, of course, yep. and, uh, but we don't want to step on now. What's up? What do you see? So the roof isn't sectored on this one. Oh, really? So literally it's, it's trust tail, trust tail, trust tail, trust tail. There's an opening about that far. Yep. And it's, from where I can see, all the way forward. It's solid comb. Really? You mean yeah. deep back towards the wall? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it could. Lock you out here. It could. Yeah. Yeah. Take my little flashlight. So you can okay, look. very good. All that little flashlight will come in handy. Yeah. All right. How does that uh, hold on? It, could you tell how it's running? The comb is it running this way yeah, or this way? Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, there's no question as to whether these are killer bees or not. They are definitely killer bees. They are also honeybees. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, All killer bees oh, are honeybees. Did you bees. see underneath that that, uh, that roof truss? 
It goes back further. Yeah. yeah. Holy Lord. Okay, so right here is our line. That's the end of it. Yeah. Well, right here we got to cut. And he said the combs run in east west. <laughs> Running. Hold on a second. Uh, yep. Wow, it's full of nectar and shit. And shit, he said. All right, so we got to cut like here. Yeah. Over to there. So yeah. where is here? That's what I have to see about here. It's the, yeah. It's going to be a multi-state multi deal. Yeah, right where my hand is at, vertical is where a truss is at. Yeah. Okay. Well. Man, they couldn't be a fucking simple operation. Uh, this is where we've got to do it. Can we cut this out? Can we yeah, pull this out? Good. Yeah. I'm going to move the ladder out of the way to give us more operating room. Yep, yep. Yep. And this one, that. just move this yeah, one down. Over, yeah. I mean, actually, we can probably take that down because we're going to need to put Don't it up on the inside. Edge. Don't fall yes. off the edge. Yes, 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 yes. But I'm going to move this over here. Yep. Okay, can I, uh, you want me to go get that now? Yeah, what were you going to go get? Spade oh, yeah. <laughs> Spade pit. Are you going to go get? Uh, therapy. Oh, here we go. Well, why do they have to build and I say it on every damn job? <coughs> Freiburg. Oh, yeah. Multi. Oh man. Yep. Okay. <coughs> In fact, I think you can see right. they left a two by four out of there. Where's the flashlight? Can you get that right in the space over there? The flashlight. Yeah. Um. And if you look up right in the front, front up here, you see that crack? Yeah. There they are. So we need to take that piece out. Oh, here. No, where, way up, where? right up at the front, right yep. there, right there, right yep. there, yep, there, there, there. Here, give me the flashlight so I can put it straight up. Okay. Gotta go more, more straight up. No, there's roofing there. Yeah. Or there's something there, but they're okay. up in there, so. You want me to get up there with the spade bit and start our holes? Yeah. Well, um, I'm gonna go right here on the corners. I don't know how far back you can go because okay. it's held up. How far in was that uh, well, at least roof? That void is the roof pitches up right so it's a void and it keeps getting deeper triangular yeah. void all the way up right. so where do i want to put my first hole triangular void that was my porn star name so um i would literally do on the on the edges of the, the plywood you see how that one's already the, right the seam yeah right, right there yeah put one in there or actually i should be able to get the bit directly up in there the or um, punch your holes and i'll cut okay yeah. go ahead and you know what holes. if you uh I don't think we need to actually, all right, what I'm worried about is cutting through a, a joist because there was one about 18 inches back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're going north-south and everything else is east-west. Okay, so. all right. All right, so I'm going to put in one here and one here to start. I don't uh, I don't think you need to because there's a seam there. But it's not deep enough to catch. Okay, them. very good. Yep, then we put two there and two all the way out here. Yeah, okay. Then to where? And actually, you, you don't need to put one on this side. There's already that crack. Here? No, here. Let me show you. Let me show what you. What crack? That one. Oh, is that a crack? Oh, I thought that was a crack. Yeah. It is. Well, it's the same. Oh, it's a drill hole. All right. All right. Here we go. And, and actually, good. what's there are those, you know, those boards that we were getting. Oh, you got to stay back a few inches. Yeah. you got to stay back a few inches. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here. Here, yes. We'll cut the line. Yes. You want to put a because they weren't this far out. Right. Exactly. Tighten up here, yeah. 
There you go. Is there a comb on it? No, it's an old roof. All right. Well, it's got to come down anyway. Yep. So, another one right across from it. And then two more, and then we're just basically... Uh, I think we should cut shallow, huh? Oh, we don't need to cut shallow. I'm thinking of the roof if we cut through anything up top, but it's Josh, too deep. What do you think about here? Uh, no, yeah, that'll, that should be fine. Anything further than that, we can pull it out. Oh, there we go. Stick that up in there, ways and see. Comb. Oh, he got comb. All right, he's in it. In it to win it. Living it, loving it. Living it, and putting the putting the putting the ream back in the American dream. All right. Pull it out. Damn it. Well, sneaking up on them and doing that spray adhesive is why they're not pissier. And also the wind. Comb? Yep. All right, we're in it. Yep. Well, why don't we cut that one down and see what it looks like. Look at this, it's dripping. Oh, it's dripping, honey? It's dripping, honey. All right, let, let's let, uh, let, you want to cut it? Yeah, I can do it. All right. All right. Here, can we? Uh, hey, want to hold yeah. the bus? Can you just push this ladder this way a little bit? There we go. There we go. Thank you. All right. You want to hold the flashlight for him? All right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Jeez, oh, what up? Oh man, the venom. <laughs> Jesus, what is that? I'm gonna go grab a sharper blade. Yeah, you need a sharper blade. Yep. Gonna get a sharper blade. So look at all these bees out here, everybody. And I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, this may not be a five, but it's definitely a 3.5. Yeah. And I mean, the whole reason is the wind. Yes. The and wind. yeah, the wind. But that was black comb up there. Uh, I didn't see black comb. Here I'm getting into tar. Getting into tar? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to do that. No, it's a roof on a roof on a roof. Oh, God. Oh, man, what a pain in the ass. Oh, and he brought an extra battery. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, oh, is that a uh, wood blade? Yeah. Wow. They are. Uh, I mean, you know, they're not as vicious as we've seen, but I wouldn't take my net off either. Is it dripping honey already? Yeah. Uh, is that flashlight around? Yeah. Awesome. Man, this is going to be quite the reveal and and paying hell to get to it. Roof on top of a roof on top of a roof. God damn it. We got two more cuts. Yes, the prying device. Oh, I find the damn thing. Uh, I've got it here in my pocket. He's got it. All right. 
Okay. Need a bigger one or are you good? No, nope, this will do it. It might be nailed in the middle or might be a joist. There I, might. I hear you. Uh, let's see. Thank you. You need a hammer? Nope, nope. This is perfect. Thanks for holding Uh oh. Yeah, here, here we go. We go. Okay, well, let's get the camera All right, here you go. So everybody. You want to climb down one rung or enjoy something? Enjoy the magic. The magic. Whoa. You want to push the it down? Magic. You're going to see it before I do. Got oh. the edge. I'm going to ice it. Ay, 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 shit. What is it? What? Uh, oh, you're, you're on oh, the there edge. it is. You're on the edge. Yep. There it is. You're living on the edge. Okay. okay got, it. got it. Well, that that's three quarter inch. That's why it was such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, there's like, I don't know, what is all that black, Josh? It's uh the old roof. It's probably old rolly roof or something. Yeah. 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 So they put that a roof sense. on a roof on a fucking roof. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, we got a lot of bees here. So it's this next section. Where's that flashlight? Well, we can work. What's that? The flashlight? Yep. Here. Yeah, I want to see yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. How far back does it go toward the building? Uh, hold on. Hold on. I can, I'm going to climb Man, up one more. Until the right now down here. Oh, wow. Hold on. Don't know wow, really? Yeah, I'm going to give you an oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, let me see that. Thank you. Oh my God, Reed. You know the thing is, this is a huge ass hive. Here, here's how far it goes. That's better than a huge ass hole. You, it. We're gonna be crossing these joists. Oh man. Okay. Okay. And. So we gotta cut out another square over there above. There's. They're built all the way to about here. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. This whole section. Now I suspect, I think based on what I felt with my hand, yeah. the, the, the heat, yeah. I think, see where my light is? Yeah. I think it's just to there. Well, but it's there I and all the way I'd back. Say, I never thought I'd say hopefully. Right. Hey, at least you're out of the window. Right? You know, so that when, when, oh, yeah. we, when we cut the foam, and by that I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, the good news too is we got a we got a lot of room to film. We got this whole uh, out of the way. yeah. It's thick there. Wow, what a deal! Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive. And I'm not too hot. I feel great. I mean, no, it feels good. Watching you guys, we're comfortable. Kind of <laughs> I believe you. I'm not too no, it's easier to go in from underneath than to take the roof off. Yeah. That's a much more expensive oh fix. Oh my God, taking a roof off. Of yeah. I mean, we have to think of the homeowner also. Yeah. We, it, I mean. Did you get all the way up through yeah. that? Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Now comes the... Does not
Nice tar smell. All right. You need that, that pry bar? Yeah. Yep. Here. I think I've got it in my pocket. Yep. There you go. You got it? Yep. Oh yes. There it goes. Here we go. All the crackety crunchities. Too pretty. To be determined. It's about to be. Oh. Uh, here we go. Okay, I got it. Yep. You got the camera. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. I got the. Well, I got the big light here. Okay. Ah. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't feel a thing. That's all. <laughs> That's comb all, and high. That's all comb and Is high. that plastic or, or that's that, that tar. tar? Yeah. It's a tar paper. Yep. Jesus, what the hell? The the comb is bonded to the tar paper better than the tar paper right. is bonded to the to the wood. To the wood. That makes right sense. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Would you like to set this up there? Sure. Right. Hold on. Here. Hold on a minute. Swap me out. Let me see that. Yeah, you got right. the camera rolling yeah, right. up on a. Bend that thing back. Here they come. Take the day. You got good lighting? Oh my god, that looks good. Woo! Oh, nice. Oh, now it started raining. Good job. Raining bees. Oh boy, is it. Man, Reed, this comb is jet black. Just don't tell me there's another layer of room. No, it's the comb. It's black. Oh, wow. Oh my god, is that old? This is old you know, ass I comb. 30 years? I'm saying it is. Yeah. Do you think, uh, Josh, you think we're going to need to cut back into the, toward the building? Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. No, it goes back like two feet past that. Oh, my God. I mean, we could probably reach up in. Let me take another look at it. Can I give you this, Josh, and just uh, yep. Got it. point it straight up? Give everybody a mouthful of that. Here's your light. Yes, thank you. Wow, that is a huge light. You know, Reed? Right behind. Can we reach it? I think we can, we can reach it by hand. Oh, okay. Well, what's gonna do? Dude, there's so many bees. It well, goes I that way. Know. It goes that way too. But I think we can reach all of it from this hole. So what is that? Four, three feet by four, five feet um, by uh, a foot to 18 inches. We still haven't found the end of it. We so. haven't found <laughs> the end. I yeah. feel like Indiana well, guess, Jones for crying out loud. I guess, yeah, right? I feel like Indiana Winnie the Pooh. So here's the thing. Winnie the gonna shit actually, not poo. Do you wanna do you wanna tub up there? Start cutting from yes. your end? Yes. We okay. Can, we can be done with this part, All right, here hand well, me. I was legitimately thinking about going one more over. Yeah, okay. I, Might as well, we're here. You know, but here's the thing is I put my hand on that and it was cool. Well let's find out how Winnie. accurate your hand is. <laughs> well what I'm saying is I think we can reach the rest of it by hand. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you can leave this all, leave this all up there in case. Yeah. I'm gonna hand you a uh, a bucket. Okay. A bouquet. You know what I can use up here, actually? Uh, straight jacket and therapy. Yeah. A good psychiatrist. Well, I just got nails. You got stung? No, nails. Oh, nails. Okay. <laughs> okay. I said it got nailed, and I was like, ah. Oh yeah, we don't want to poke the bottom of the. Uh, you need a hammer? Need a hammer? No, no that's good enough. And uh, you're gonna need a uh, putty, a slutty knife. There you go. Here's your slutty knife. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get a. Get a good shot of all this. Look at all this. Man, this wind is, thank God this wind is blowing. I never thought I'd quite say that. Wow, man. Look at all this. That is a perfect reveal right there, too. It's raining honey. You're right. Is it dripping? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Watch your camera. Yeah. It's coming down from this edge. Yeah. Wow. God damn. All right. Uh, well, uh, Josh, you want another bucket? You start reaching up in the middle? Well, if he's cutting, if he's cutting, 
oh. hold the bucket right underneath it. Oh, there you go. Well, I think he's going to start from this end, from his start, end over here. I'm going to start here. There you go. I'm going to start here and work that okay. way. All right, so you can hand him comb if it's appropriate. Yep. Of course, whatever we do is not appropriate, so yeah. that's how that ball bounces. Do you need, need another ladder? Or? And this is three Premium. <laughs> Premium. Kai And if you if you want some of this honey, you can get it at killerbeeguy.com. Now if you want to order some of this honey comb, Reed will give you the number to, that you can call to get that. Yeah, 911. No, actually. <laughs> you, have to, <laughs> you have to but and now a word from our sponsor. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> so anyway, if you want some of this honeycomb, you gotta call Betty at the store. Write this down, 520-432-8016. 10-ish till 5-ish, our times, 10 a.m. to 5 a.m.-ish, ish, emphasis on ish, and Thursday through Monday. So 520-432-8016 and see what the stash looks like. So we got a hundred dripping on, on a, the camera. This is an interesting view right here. Right? Oh, oh me, I'm, I'm more covered than you guys are. Absolutely, they like you more. Oh, they like me, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, I, they're pelting off me like, like hell no. They, they know you're the mastermind. Oh God, is that what it is now? Yeah, the general. <laughs> I've seen guys run off the roof, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some uh, nectar. We got it all. We got <laughs> it's a full service hive. Today. Yeah. Yeah. We, we got venom. venom. We it's, have... <laughs> it's a lot of honey. I got venom. I got honey. Oh, that's great. So if you that's look good. directly oh, that was up. Bees. I thought you were brushing down rat shit. This is. No, it's bees. As if I'm not covered in nothing. <laughs> I mean, it literally feels like like somebody's throwing pellets at yeah. me. Like gravel. Or shit. Look at this stuff, man. At least they're not mad. Read. What? Look oh, at that. my God. God, this is perfect, beautiful. It looks like mesquite, but there's wildflowers everywhere. Look at that, rarest food in the world. Rarest honey in the world. Look at this, you guys. You see where these are open and these are closed? These are not quite honey yet. These are already honey. When they're done, they literally put a, a lid. That's a wax cap on it. Each one of these cells is a canning jar for bees. Literally a canning jar. And they use them hundreds and hundreds of times. That's why it's, uh, honey, my nose itches, and there ain't no fucking way I'm going to scratch it. <laughs> oh, I want to. Man, isn't that horrible when something itches and you can't get there? Yeah, I think you, well, uh, I could, you but then smell the money. They smell the money, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, actually. As we're cutting the comb out and the hive out. Uh, cutting the actual wild, rarest honey in the world. Look at it dripping this beautiful mesquite honey. Which, so, again, you can buy you at killerbeeguy.com. Which you can buy. No, we're from our sponsor. <laughs> honey on the camera. Which the lens hive, has the honey? from the hive. This is honey on the camera. Is that me or is that honey on the camera? I think it's <laughs> real. Are you happy to see me? <laughs> is, wow. that a, is that a Dude. half or a... Half Dude, a roll it's of diamond. all like this up here. You're kidding. And I'm just scratching the surface. Oh, well, at least you're scratching something. Yeah. Hopefully we so, brought enough so containers. This, this side is all capped and ready to eat. This side is almost ready to eat. What most people don't realize is that when they go to the flowers and collect the nectar and bring it back to the hive, it can take them, it can take them up to a month to turn it into honey. It's not instantaneous. And so, I think, it doesn't look as bad as it feels. Um, yeah, Josh. it looks pretty incredible. It looks like a like a wall of bees. Yeah, it, it's like I, I just I don't I don't they don't care about my feelings. <laughs> but the bizarre thing to me is as we're cutting it out, they're dropping out from between the the or between the, the combs. combs. Yeah, there are literally a hundred to two hundred thousand bees between the combs right now. We've already got a hundred thousand bees out. Looks like you got about twenty thousand just loving on you. <laughs> is that what it is? Just dripping the venom, dripping the venom. Yeah, this is a little surreal. I thought I was supposed to be in a supervisory. What the fuck? Anyway, you are. Yeah, you. Stupid visory. <laughs> Stupid visory. <laughs> How's it looking up there? Oh, look at that. More and more. Okay, we're gonna turn the camera so you guys can see what where Hosh is actually working. See where it's going. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all that. That's all honey you're looking at up there. <sighs> And it's all honey you're looking at down here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so no brood yet. Re read, no. are your feelers hurt? That's a very important question. My finger is hurt. They won't leave it alone. <laughs> anyway, so 
They're all females. Okay, leave, just leave that one there. <laughs> now I got something in my damned eyeball and I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> Roll that back and look up and see all the bees coming in and out of the, the building. Oh yeah. Oh, we have There's a like lot of camera. Yeah, we have a lot of bees everywhere down here. Jesus. I'm going to get the most interesting view. And since I'm in a su supervisory capacity, I can do this. Oh, I want to kick that off my... Yeah, you guys are right. I'm laying down to get a fucking view here. Oh, look at that. And of course, I gotta keep the net off my face. Ah, it's stupid. I wanna be doing this. The things I do for you guys. Boy, they are really like trying to kill me and shit. Damn. Oh man, they are not nice. I can't do anything down here, it's ridiculous. Oh. Ah, I got some crap in my eye. I got some crap in the eye. I think that some honey got on the lens. It did. Hey, uh, Hosh, what? we got to wipe off the lens on the uh, TikTok because it is like screwed. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down and use some. Uh, I got some Windex down there. Look at that. I can try to. Well, I'll just smear it. I got to actually get a little Windex thing. Hey, I got glass cleaner. All right, guys. All right, everyone smile. I'm going to clean your teeth. I got one lens on TikTok. Stay with us, everyone. I know right where the cleaning supplies are. Yes, supervisory and cleaning capacity. I know, I look. Okay, you guys, you know what it looks like on the TikTok? Penthouse. Anyway, I, so I've read. So I've heard. Of course, they're going to chase me into the truck. I'm going to get in the truck. I'm going to turn on the air um, to get the bees to go to the window. I'm going to clean this lens off so that we can have... So that our TikTok people won't think we're being R-rated here. Uh, maybe I can just do it from here. Uh, okay, hold on, everybody. All right, now I want everyone to smile. And I might risk it here, actually, taking off my uh, glove. Oh, man, I'm kind of nervous about that. Damn it. Maybe I won't. Okay, hang tight. Because I'm going to smear things around something horrible here. And then give it a little squirt. Here we go. Hang tight, guys, on TikTok. Hang tight. I'm brushing your teeth. Oh, that's going to improve immensely. You know what? While we're here, I think I'm just going to clean everything up. Smile, YouTube. Everyone smile. I'm cleaning your smile because you're such a beautiful smile. And i got to make it more beautiful. Okay, here we go, guys. Cleaning YouTube. And I don't think that... Facebook needs to be cleaned right now. Oh man, I hope that works. Is that better or worse? Hold on guys, I'm going to take a look. Okay, what does it look like? Ah. Uh, oh my god, just save the day. Okay, TikTok looks great. I'm going to give YouTube one more clean. Hey, this is a, we're in war, this is war footage everybody, so calm down. Um, I'm going to use this now. Everything is sticky. It's a pain in the ass to try to clean anything. But we got to do it in the field. War footage. Hold on, everybody. There. That's got to be better. It can't be worse. There we go. Okay, it is what it is. Let's go get some more honey. Honey. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out of the line. I brought those guys on. Friday, huh? My God. Okay, let's see if that's better. Oh, crystal clear. Thank you, everyone, for sticking with us. Shenanigans. Ah, oh, shit in my eye. You can shake it, stick it. Shake, shake it. Look at Josh. Now they don't like you. Safety is paramount, sir. It's, uh, <laughs> Josh is thinking about his career choice. All right, here we go. Slap me out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, they like you a lot. Back to you. Back to you, got it. Thank you. Woo! How's it going there, Hosh? Good. I cleaned everybody's teeth. Everything looks super. Man, look at all the bees on the bottom of that comb. Holy shit. Yeah, I pulled the camera up so you can actually get depth on it. Oh, They're you know. Probably that, two and a half, three inches deep. That's probably where the honey came from. And of course, the new, the two, especially two new cameras that Don Shar got us, the, uh, the Google, uh, Pixel 7 Pros, they, look, he's going to make it rain bees. They are great at close-ups. 
right? They are the best at close-ups. Because they don't, you know, if you let it sit for a second, it'll focus. I mean, the Samsung S20 Pluses are adorable and everything, but, you know. They're just, they work fine. They're, they're good. They're good. Oh, man, I'm going to have to wash my eyeballs out. Wash my eyeballs out with soap. Wow. What are? The eye bombs as they're dropping out of the hive. Oh, yeah. Well, every piece he pulls down, of course. And when you get out in the open where you are, you're going to be rained on big time. And all of them that fall down are not happy. No, they're all a little upset. They're a little bit. Mainly with me, apparently. What the hell? Jesus, thanks for sticking with us, guys. we got some comb cutting to go on. And by that, I mean Bush and Josh. So, anyway. Wow, my arms aren't tired at all. <laughs> as soon as you want to tap out those jumps, you're helping. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you, if you want to cut on that side... Why do I can't get up into it because it's a literal square blob. So I'll bend and if I go up to the bottom. Square blob brown pants? So, look, there ain't no yes. access to like start in. Right. You want to trade off for a second? How's your elbow? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, he says that while he's grimacing. No, no, really, I'm not. The angle's not... All right. It's well, all you're angles. you're actually almost parallel with it. Yeah, exactly. You know, this is all rotator cuff stuff. Okay, yes. Oh, we're, we're showing our maturity. Man, I'm going to hand you this cover or something. I know I can't see for shit. Okay, we're flipping so you see the, the pile. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look at this in particular. It's just like... Piling, but I gotta go rinse this eyeball on it's like stupid. Take care of what you gotta take care of. <laughs> okay, honestly, I pooped my pants. <laughs> we'll watch Hosh work for a little while. Yeah. Any questions on there? Uh, do you vacuum the bees ever? Uh, we do sometimes in certain situations. Um, you can actually see us. We posted a video on Friday called Crotch Killers. And uh, if you look at that video, you'll see an appropriate use of the vacuum. But see, when the bees are in between the comb, like they are now, um, the vacuuming, it just doesn't work. Because they just crawl into their little holes and hunker down in between the the honey the uh, honeycomb and uh, we can't get to them they just dig in so it doesn't work in that scenario but but like I said if you want to see us use the vacuum cleaner check out uh, check out that video we posted on Friday it's on YouTube it's called crotch killers that was a big nasty job uh, out East Slick in uh, I think Sunsights isn't that where East Slick is yeah Sunsights yeah, yeah. Are they honeybees? No, they are killer bees. They, well, they, they are honeybees, yes, but they're killer bees. See, all killer bees are honeybees. Not all honeybees are killer bees. So, basically what they are is they're a hyper-aggressive hybrid that was created in a Brazilian laboratory in the late 50s. We got got again by honey. Yeah. So the, what the, the Sorry real about question the blur. is, you know, they're not European honeybees. They're Africanized honeybees, which means they're deadly. Uh, and, and when I say they're deadly, what I mean is, you know, there's a few differentiations. If a European hive feels threatened, they'll send out a dozen bees, you know, to kind of scare somebody off. Africanized bees will send out most of the hive. I All gotta right. go hand off the camera. We got oh, yeah. got good again. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Yep. Here we go again. The Reed Rehab. We got uh, honeyed again. You got the white balls? You got the what? You, we got honey on the lens again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. Handing it off to Reed. You got to do it, Reed. For okay, everyone minute. smile. We're going to clean your teeth again. Which, which uh, camera? Center camera. 
Thank you. Right on. Aww. We get to clean the lens again while I'm cleaning my eyeball. Oh, there's the honey. <laughs> oh, I tell you, this war footage. War footage, everybody. It's so exciting. Alright, where's my little cleaning equipment? Holy cow, look at that. You guys just got it all messy. Smile. YouTube's under cover right now. And soon to be happy and clean. I think I might have got that piece of shit out of my eye also. God, what a pain in the ass. Man. Jobs like this. Messy, 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 huh? Everything look good, everybody? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm gonna hand this back to Josh. Uh, now you went back to work. All right. Oh man, I still got that piece of crap in my eyeball. So logistically, this is a royal pain in the ass to do because I gotta rinse my eye by doing this. I've done it before. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. And of course, I don't worry about getting water anywhere because I'm in a bee suit and nice and cool. Okay, I think that might have done it. Holy shit. <laughs> this is a big job, everybody. This is a huge job. I'm glad it's going as smooth as it is. It really scared the living hell out of me. I laid awake and thought about this one because it's just, it's just too big. I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't know it was going to be such a pain in the ass to get to. Alright, I gotta take a look and make sure that everybody is looking good. Oh man, everybody is looking so spiffy except for this guy over here. Okay, one more cleaning, guys. It's better to have it looking good, so calm down. Alright. There we go. Oh, breath, smile. We're brushing everybody's teeth here. Now we're going back to war. Okay, guys. Never any fun at all. I haven't got my big blues on yet, so I'm going to be doing that. Have I got my things zipped up here? Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for your patience. Uh, <laughs> running around with our shenanigans, but this is war footage. This is what happens when we're in the field. There's no editing. This is live. Uh, you know, thank you so much for coming with us. If any of you guys would please to, uh, like to join our Killer Bee Nation on um, YouTube... <laughs> Uh, just go to YouTube and hit the little join button. You can see the levels that we have. And uh, please, because it really does help a lot. And to the Killer and Bean family out there, the nation, uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for coming with us. <laughs> this is ridiculous is what it is. Yeah, just a normal day at the office. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so we're going to be doing this plumbing now. I mean, it's not your average job, right? I hopped out of the truck and they're on me like it was nothing. And, of course, that's not really that far away for them to be super. All right. Man, are they around the front door where they were? Holy shit. Their old front door. All right, we're going to hand this up. Boy, they love you. Oh, absolutely. Woohoo, man. They love Josh. Here you go. Thank you. Cleaned everybody up. All right. I think we should stay back off the side. A lot of them up here. Say what? See, because I'm kind of inside. Because you're a strange guy. Well, no, I'm inside. Oh, you're like, inside. It's like cover your head, head for cover. Yeah. Like they're not on me. Oh no, they're not on you at all. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. What's wrong with this picture? Look at Josh and I. Josh and I are fucking covered, and he's up there. Look, at he's up there without his net on. No gloves. Yeah. <laughs> In his bikini. Yes. And I wish he would have wear his bee suit on that note. Anyway. <laughs> well, he's not even at the place where Josh can start cutting it. That's amazing. Oh, look at right behind you. That's number one out. Oh, oh my God. We got. Oh. How much would you say that weighs? Uh, just a heads up that one uh, container probably weighs 60 or 70 pounds. Yeah. Holy shit. And we're yeah. just starting. 100%. We just oh. scratched the surface. 100%. Honey. Oh my 100%. god. Well, if you're going to scratch the surface, be sure to draw blood. Yes. That was funny. Look at them. They, they aren't bothering him at all, but they sure don't like us. <laughs> Josh is like, whatever. It's, it's fine. It's standard procedure. We're used to it. <laughs> no matter where we are, you can go to Safeway. It's the same way. <laughs> so we've been at it for, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. And he's barely getting to the point where I can see his You hand. can actually see his hand now? Yeah, if you look up 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got y'all. I see right where you're talking about. 
<laughs> hey, is that your middle finger? Oh, how'd you guess? That's uh, his honey finger. <laughs> it's his honey. <laughs> oh, technical. Look at look at all that. Oh, look at there's a monster coming through the comb. So, and and you're scraping it down, of course, as close to the. I'm trying. Man, I thought we were getting more honey on the lenses, but it's just bees bouncing off. And they're bouncing off my gloves. It feels like a monsoon downpour. Yeah, it, a yeah, it does. It feels like a monsoon downpour from all directions. Sideways, straight down, everything. But, wow. Here, hold this for a second. I want to climb up there. I want to, I want to, show, you, I want to show you what raining bees looks like. If you're in the mood. <laughs> hey, you guys know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was telling Josh this one really reminds me of the Hyde Park place. Uh, oh yes, of course. Up it's in the... very, very Yes, similar. Lonnie, the fry bread lady. Look at this. Wow. Oh, look at this dripping. Just gorgeous honey. Thank you, but what does the comb look like? That was so wrong. If it's wrong, we'll do it. Look, I just can't believe how they're on you. Of course, they're probably on me about the same. Nothing inside the net, huh? Nope. Everything's all calm. Never haven't got calm. He says, <laughs> you know, you know. Josh learned a long time ago that if you see the belly of the bee on your net, that's awesome. Another wave. Did if you, you see... hear them intensify? Did I, I hear them? It got louder. Did you hear that? They just, they just fight. I have a buzzing in my ear. That's <laughs> rare. No, usually it's not the tinnitus. It's not quieter, the tinnitus. They get yeah. quieter and quieter, but as I'm cutting into this old. Oh, they don't like that. You queen, might, you could be getting up. close to the queen. I think so. And of course, you're just knocking down, you know, cabillions of them with every cut. Right. The pheromone started. Yep. Let the. Well, top of the pheromone to you then. <laughs> top of the pheromone. It's a beautiful morning, Sunday morning for the pheromone. <laughs> We're <laughs> taking a pheromone bath is what we're taking. It's good for the skin. Shower. It's good for the soul. You know what the good thing is? They say beauty skin deep, well so are bee stings. <laughs> no, no, actually they're deeper than subcutaneous, they go into your bloodstream. Did everybody know that? Yeah, you guys know that. That if you get stung, it not only sends a pheromone to the rest of the hive that there's an intruder and they'll stay mad for up to two weeks. It's like the car alarm, you know, the Ugo horn in the submarine. They'll stay mad for up to two weeks. But you can't wash that pheromone off your skin. It's subcutaneous, goes into your bloodstream. So for up to a week, depending on your metabolism, you're marked. Yep. Um, I just had a call from a gal from in Arizona that um, I think, what was it? She tried to do it herself and got stung up a bunch. And, and for uh, days, every time she went outside, they attacked her. It was like, she said, I wish you guys were closer. And that's just because she's like this. It had nothing to do with the bees. Oh, okay. Oh, what do you got? Fruit. Yeah, we'll cut off the other shit and we'll make a pile. Here, we can make a, a pile on this thing and that way we can throw it into the... Uh... Oops, here we go. I'll grab that. Here's, yeah, the, uh... there's the, the brood. Is good. Now, brood, as everybody knows, is where they raise the babies and that is that goes to Hosh's chickens did you know that Josh his chickens probably love it his oh, love chickens it. love it they will scratch it and okay honey. <laughs> <laughs> so this old stuff say it again this old comb yeah is what they're using for for brood oh, okay well and that does seem to be a normal situation I think it's because the, the cells are so thick and strong, you know, they will actually 
round out. Now, when they first build the honeycomb, of course, it's pure white. It's actually clear when it comes out of their abdomen. It's a little six-sided platelets. And then they masticate it and, and start massaging it into the six-sided cells that we know, which have pretty good sharp edges. But as they use it over years and decades, it gets rounded out. And so the insides of these dark uh, comb cells where the larvae are <coughs> will be almost round. And that's another indicator of a really, really old hive. We got some queen cells on this. Queen cells? I want to show everybody. All right, some so, brood, some, uh, yeah, we got brood. brood. Yeah, we got brood. Some what? Drone brood. I hate to drone on. Uh, let's see here. Where are we? Oh, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Here. So, everybody, we got, um, so these on the edges here are queen cells. See how big they are? Those are old, really old queen cells that have been, they've reused the wax a bit. But these are queen cells, so they're that much bigger. And then these, let me see here, can't really see. Okay, we got really good delineation. Well, this is weird too. Oh, I see, it's a separate piece. More queen cells, everybody. The two big ones on the end. Bring so, it out to the camera so they can see it a little bit better. So these are, this is a really fine example of the three types of cells in the uh, baby in the baby room in the brood chamber see how small these cells are okay these are where the worker bees are born which is mostly which is these guys see this great big one here that great big bee that's a drone that's a male and those were born in these bigger cells here over here and then these are where the queens were born now we never see a queen bee because uh you know people ask us did you find the queen and i said we live in bisbee for all over the place and gay day is coming Anyway, <laughs> was that wrong? I think it's on me like a field. Did you say D-Day is coming? Yeah, I said D-Day is oh. B-Day. Oh. Anyway. Um, so, what the hell was I talking about? Something important. So anyway. Josh, these, is that getting heavy? You're fine. Okay. Which, oh my God, to, you got to fucking mouth. I got to show everybody. It's about to topple. I got to show everybody the uh, the mound of brood. I'm down with it. Okay, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I think you should. Oh, there it goes. Well. Almost had it. Oh yeah. my god, There's look a, at that pile of brood. There is a trash bag in that bucket. Oh, I see it. Yep, yep. Here you go. Josh. Here you go. My hands hurt. Okay, this is going to be interesting. It's raining. Here, you want to? Can you get it? I can. I don't know. We'll see. Raining. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Reed, it's raining, baby. Raining baby. So you know that this hive was putting out at least 30 new hives a year, right? Oh yeah. 30 new hives a year, because each one of these, an old hive like this, so they were populating this entire area with 30 new hives a year for decades. That's the problem. If your neighbor has bees, you have bees, period. My God. Uh, Hosh's chickens are gonna be eating good. Yeah, they told me this morning they, they're ready for more. <coughs> they told you this morning. <laughs> You know what they said this morning to Hoshis? Don't kill me, take him. <laughs> is that is that brood? Yeah. Man, we're getting a lot. Well, no, no, it's not. This is pollen. Just empty? No, no, there's pollen. Okay. There's pollen in there. Go ahead and save that one. Yep. So look at he's making some headway. I am. And we all know much of headways. About 35 pounds. Wow. I really want to thank you guys, the uh, Killer Bee Nation, the family out there for uh, answering comments, uh, answering questions, because uh, you guys know what's going on. And a lot of new people have absolutely zero idea, which you can't blame them, because this is the weirdest thing in the world. That is so heavy, even at that level. Yeah. What does that weigh? 40? About 40. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to go up on the other side of the ladder here. All right. You want to uh, take this up and show everybody what you're doing? Sure. All right. Yep. Here, I'll let you that. that for a second. Oh my goodness, these phones. Well, I cleaned up the it's lenses, hilarious. but that's about it. <laughs> so, you know, smoke doesn't really work on killer bees. They're too hard to keep lit. That's okay. why I don't smoke them. <laughs> doesn't really work. We don't use smoke. Yeah, look at that, everybody. Fun. I got to tell everybody. Actually, we're going to actually be bringing you all on a huge job at Josh's. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. When, when do you think you're ready for that, Josh? We will see. Look at the, the light. Where's the light? Where, where, where? Oh, the light? The light. Oh, the white stuff in there. Larvae. Larvae? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's larvae. Yep. Delicious. Just ask Hoge. 
Yeah. Chickens. For chickens. <laughs> yeah. For chickens, not so much for me. I'm kind of curious if you seen all the chicken wars on TikTok and Facebook and everything already. Chicken? Oh, you mean with the uh, that uh, that uh, editing thing where they have arms? No, there's a uh, there's a whole calling about like chicken wars. Everybody that has a big uh, herd of chickens. Really. You know what they call that down here on the border? Cockfighting. It's Cock illegal. Cockfighting. Cock fighting. <laughs> of course, in Bisbee, that means something else. I'm not <laughs> going there. Leave that alone. <laughs> and what are you, halfway done? Uh, I don't know because I don't know how much farther it goes past that. That oh. root section went pretty easy. That middle section here with all that old comb was... Oh, it's so hard. hard to cut through. But it was mostly brood. It was actually pretty easy. I'm oh. Okay. You yep. wanna, you wanna trade off or anything? Yeah. You do? Uh, yeah. Josh can go. All right. Yep. Yeah, I can uh, get up there with the camera. And... Yeah. Wow, guys. Yep. I'm totally so... impressed with this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna fall off the roof. I don't think. What a huge job. Sunday morning. Praise the Lord. I shouldn't say that, and I'm hungry. Uh, should we, uh, are you gonna put I that back up or do you want a fresh one? What do you think, Josh? What's I gonna think work we for you? Cut another hole. Yeah. We're getting to the edge of this hole. Yeah. Now. You want the sawzall? Okay. It's all up here still. Okay. It's, it's only, I mean, it's gonna make it easier. I think so. All right. Are you a concurrence? Do you need a, uh, do you need I, a drill? I got it all. Oh, you got it all. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Before you do that, let me get this covered. Let me get a lid. Beautiful wild comb. Rare. Oh, this is, it's fun out here. Right, it's, this we're not overheated. This is where all the action is. Look at this. Is, yes, indeed. Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's Killer Bee Guy the Clown. Are we ready? <laughs> uh, yeah, go for it. He's doing the dance. Here we go again, guys. We're going to make a bigger hole. I can't believe the size of this damn thing. farther than no right here no we're not okay yeah it's gonna it's gonna end pretty soon what hold on I'm exhausted hi <laughs> rub some lotion on my back I'm getting a beaver Now, now that you came down, it yeah. didn't smell like venom more than I do. They kind of moved over to you. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine. I have a good feed. Yeah. Because they like him a lot. Oh, they love Reed. He's their claim to fame. Frank, we're just used to it. <laughs> He's a bad sense of humor. <laughs> no. Oh man, you should see them all balled up on the outside. Now see, look at them all up there. Now that would be an instance I wouldn't mind using a vacuum on those critters, but there's it, it'd be too much trouble. We're like where to plug it in, need an extension cord got to get the vacuum up the ladder it's too much trouble we'll just spray them down wow yeah this is huge yeah right oh my god decades here can i give you the camera up there yeah sure Trade you yep All actually right. and i'll
what a job. My goodness sake. Crawling on up there. I'm hitting something. Yeah. Oh, you want to see if you can. should be able to break that. Oh, you yeah. want to start from the other side? I don't know if you're going to. Oh. There it goes. Oh, we got a bunch of rat shit. Yeah. I don't. That's yeah, that that's bird it. Nest. Yeah. That's it. That's that bird nest. Wow. Wow, that keeps going. Yeah, yeah, yep. it was a good call. Yep. Oh, that was a good call. Yeah, Wait, you can just it? leave that. Yeah, we really have to leave that up there. Oh, okay. I think it ends right there. Well, yeah, it ends at that that, that joist. Yeah. Yep, that's what you were hitting. Yep. Wow. That's all honey, too. That, that's all honey. No, Look at that. That's brood. And There's this, some brood. And keep in mind, Reed. Yeah. You, you, it goes two feet past. Oh, this for way. crying out loud. Yeah. So this we're is, not even, I don't know, we're probably halfway through this thing. This is ridiculous. I need to go get a beat. What I'm going to do. Yeah, man. We're trying to catch it? this bird nest. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a hindrance to us. And messy. Right. It's covered up, huh? Yeah. Or no, it's going to pull it down. Oh, God. Here we go. This um, is, this what is, is nasty. it? It's packed pretty good. <laughs> With what? It is bird nest. Yeah. So, you know, that's why the bees were crawling past it. It was an obstruction, and they don't move things. I would pull it down if you can. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. Oh, what a mess. Ah, bleh. More shit in the eye. There's more shit in the eye for you. And Patty McGroin. <laughs> the bees are in it. Yes. Oh, for God's sake. Yes. Did we get more shit on the lines here? No. Good lord, what a job. Woo, thanks for sticking with us, everyone. What a nightmare. Oh my god. I mean, this is... Okay, honestly, this is true treasure. This is uh, they, this is just like treasure hunting, pretty much on a daily basis, and finding it. I mean, you know, to hell with metal detectors. We got bee venom detectors. <laughs> to find this much honeycomb on a job, there's probably... What do you think, Hosh? 300 pounds? They literally built right It really could bird. be that much. It goes right up to the bird nest? Yeah. What do you think, Coach? 300? Uh, if you include the brood? Yeah. 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 So a couple of hundred pounds of. Yeah. I mean, there is a lot of honey compared to brood. Yeah. There really <coughs> is. Tis the season. Tis the, tis the sneezing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, you want to wash your hands off? Or? Yeah. Wow. What a. Fucking deal. Well, I'm going to set up there. This one isn't full yet. <laughs> yeah. You want to set a fresh one up there and then transfer, or you want to yeah, just put that one up? What do you think? Ah, strong back, weak mind. Strong, <laughs> strong back, weak mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, here we go. More shenanigans. Oh, who cut the comb? Okay. Now the question is, do we want to keep cutting this way, or do you want to just reach? Ah, uh, might have. Well, you can cut along the top with the putty knife as far as you can reach. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because instead of mushing it with your fingers, because yeah. cutting it with the putty knife is, is really the way to go. Does it go quite a ways, Josh? Ah, uh, one other truss over. <coughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh. But you could literally take the cut we already started. Right? Oh no, you can't. That's gonna have to be drilling cut, but you may be able to reach it. But it goes back. How? Oh, what a foot? Back to that joist. <coughs> yep. And across. So yeah. we're gonna have to cut another hole. Yeah. Oh. We just knock this out no, we can't cut that out. No. It's no. Just this one piece, and it's just to hold this. Is up. that a structural or no, uh, Josh? I mean, it's. I wouldn't. I would just drill and yeah, drill, work drill, around. drill four holes and work around it. Okay. Yep. It should right. be. Everything should be up there. Uh, yeah, it's all behind you. Let me uh, light up the way. Drill. Wow, what a huge job, you guys! My God. If anybody wants to become a member, a member of the hive, please go to YouTube and join. We did figure out the Facebook thing. No, we didn't. Meta rejected us for some reason. <laughs> oh, look at it. Hosh is crying because I, I, I hate when Meta rejects you. Uh, and I had my lingerie on and everything. Oh, uh, anyway, but YouTube seems to like us. <laughs> we finally got out of jail with TikTok. I don't know. What the hell? I mean, we're saving people's lives, animals' lives. 
doing a dangerous job and they think that we're, I don't know what the hell they think. Anyway, uh, if you want to become a member, please go to YouTube and check out our membership thing. And of course, you know, I, got, I found out, this is all new to me, um, after doing it all these years, it's still new shit. There's a little star or something that you can push that if you want to uh, donate, well, you guys that are members that are family, you guys donate way too Oh my God, you guys are saints, angels. Thank you so much. And oh, Mel and Dan from uh, uh, Blue Water Cafe up in Grand Marais on the North Shore of Lake Superior. These are all your suits. It's all your fault. We got a brand new, it used to be a brand new suit an hour ago. And Josh has it on. That's Posh's suit, by the way. <laughs> you can see the Blue Water Cafe. Uh, path so right there. come and over from that hole about 20 inches. Wow, what a deal. Oh my god, more logistical shit. <laughs> wow, this is ridiculous. I, I just can't believe the size of this thing. Uh, three feet by six feet by it tapers from about eight inches to what josh a foot foot and a half um probably 10 inches yeah so about what eight it's inches a, ten, ten, eight to ten or i would say four to eight four to eight inches solid and hundreds of pounds of honey oh my god untouched type you know when i saw that uh staining on the outside there guys i knew that it was an old hive uh, we're, you know, we're talking 30 years here. You're right where you need to be. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, you have no choice but to touch the triangle. Right. Good lord. Shenanigans, huh? These. It's what everyone, it's what every 14 year old kid wants to do on a Sunday morning. So, they balled up. They're starting to go into defensive mode. They balled up up there. Oh yeah, then they're going into defensive. You know, there comes a point where they're defeated, you know? Although I have to admit, the ones out here ain't exactly defeated. That's just damn sure. Look at this, you guys. Ridiculous. And there are the Huachuca Mountains. And the next part of our tour will take us. So we're basically saving this entire neighborhood from further disaster nonsense. I mean, oh, it did break the tape. Oh, well. Wow, what a deal. That tape was fine. Woo! What a deal, you guys. I can't, they believe, uh, they build in the damnedest place. Look at this, they are meaner, they're as mean as when we got here. Oh, yeah. They're, they're just not stopping. They're, I mean, it's a cross between, you know where that ball that you said was back there, Josh? Uh -huh. That could be where the queen is, because they ball up around her. It's kind of like the presidential motorcade. Well, he just shook the ball. So, oh, he just, <laughs> that's why they all came out. The ball is much more active. The, the ball is more unhappy. Okay. Here you go, Josh. I got it. I'll run down. You got one? Okay. You're the personality. Oh, yeah. That's what the guy in the mirror said. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hosh, nap time? Yeah, rest a minute. <laughs> For those of you just joining us, my name is Reed Booth, a killer bee guy, and that is Hoach taking a nap up there in an attic <laughs> in Sierra Vista above an abandoned old country western nightclub where I used to line dance 30 years ago. It is called Dylan's Nightclub, and so we are calling this Dylan's Killers. Did you know that, uh, Josh? Dylan's Killers. Dylan's Killers, yep. And it should be one down there. Last one. Yeah, we got one in the drill. This might be the last cut. <laughs> Man, they... The more you guys drop, the, the meaner they stay. Well, it's because it's melting. We're stressing them. Yeah, yeah. We're stressing the hell out of them, for sure. 
And you know, I tell people now that when they get pissed off, they all turn into white blood cells, which is pretty much it. Yeah. One more cut. Oh, that's what it is. The car is loaded up on the blade. Is it smoking? On and off. There's enough money up there keeping it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Always worry about all that shit. Last cut, I think, right? No, there's still one more. Oh, God. The next one should be pretty easy. He said with confidence. Somebody's getting his go gun on if you can't tell. Yeah. Shit. God, they're just not letting up. What are we, an hour into it? Well, I'm more or less. Yeah? Never yeah. said. No, it just got hot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no way to pull it down yet, so I may as well keep cutting. Here, let me have your sawzall. I'm going to see if I can find a, a good blade. Okay. Oh, yeah, another sharper one. Oh, that's why. The tar is literally eating the blade oh, off. Oh, my God, that blade is gone. Oh, Holy shit. And there are more uh, blades if there aren't any. Oh, you got one there. There are more blades in the truck if you can't find one. Let me know. <laughs> well, don't take them off. Can you get it in there? Well, there would be all kinds of back end but I'll be nice. Oh, he, he's got to be. Uh -oh. Already knows the. Uh, it's hot. It's hot. The, the, the drill is hot. It's not the best. You know, if you push the end thing, you can figure out, if, see if there's any juice left in the battery. So the, boot, the boot's in. We got one blinking. Does that mean that one's dead? That one's dead? How's that one? I charged up all five of them. Okay. Well, the, the saw is hot. And there's another sawzall maybe in there. Oh. It's the sawzall's hot. Oh, okay. Yeah, the sawzall's hot. It happens. I've seen it happen a thousand times. Is there another um, sawzall in here? No, there was not. Hmm, I wonder where the hell I put it. Damn. Down on the bottom? No. How about that multi tool? That would take forever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll just let it cool down. You can keep cutting. I mean, there's plenty to cut, right? Cone? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we'll keep cutting until that cools down. It can take uh, five, ten minutes. I had almost burnt them up before. That's uh, why we like rigid, because they have the lifetime guarantee, right? You know that, of course. Yep. All right. Wow. These are also except the sock is the heat. Man, they are just... It is getting warmer for sure. Oh, they're attacking it. Is that a good one? Or? Yeah, it's still too far. Okay. All right. Are you still good to go, Hosh? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, unless Josh wants to get up here. It's up to you. If you feel all right, keep going. If not, I'll tap in. Uh, I feel all right to keep going. Okay. And I don't want to deprive you of the joy. The joy? <laughs> uh, the, the brotherhood of killer bee. <laughs> For Christ, <laughs> it deprive you of the joy of getting stung on the end of the nose. No, that, like second, that second cut we made over here actually is really good. Oh my God! Oh, we're gonna dump, we're gonna tag team it. I can see what's coming. We're tag teaming it, everybody. What a huge job! Look, it's like pro wrestling. With killer bees, a tag team in it. Oh, good. They're wagon training it. I gotta pull my. It's the train motif. Oh my god! I cannot believe this job. Holy shit! So this is all honey smell. You ought to just uh, catch as I push. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, that's good. We gotta get that eventually. Just, just hand it to. Now's the hour. Just hand it to uh, yep. Hosh or. Yep. He's just scraping it down. Oh yeah, and then we can straighten it out. Yep. yep. Oh, that's a great idea. Yep. 
Sharing is caring, so happy. Sharing is caring. Good goofball. Coming back. Back to singing. It's got to call on you. We're going to get some on you. Oh, a little bit hit the deck there. It's coming after you. Wow. Unbelievable, guys. I mean, what a huge, huge job. This is absolutely really good. I'm so glad we did it on a Sunday morning early because, of course, there's no one around. Ooh, how does that lens look? You're going to see here, guys. Everything looks good. Yeah, all right. There's honey everywhere else. That's for damn sure. Anyway. Oh, I got to take a little bit of a breather. I might have to go sit in the truck and drink some water or something. At least I'm not overheated. I mean, it's beautiful out, but... Uh, the weather is absolutely perfect for the middle of June. I'm totally shocked. Of course, it's supposed to be 90 degrees next week, so, eh, you know. We'll be using the cooling vest, uh, Don, that's for sure. Don, uh, Shar, buddy out in Pennsylvania, after Mel and Dan up at the Blue Water Cafe sent us these new bee suits, um, they sent us cooling vests, which are they're really neat because they fit really tight to the skin. They have uh, Velcro cooling, um, you know, frozen packs on the front and the back. Really, really work well. And they look like full of true vests. Fucking awesome. Just awesome. So there will be plenty of time to use that. So we're going to see how these guys are doing, tag teaming it. How's it going? We're good. We're getting into some pollen over here. Oh boy. So there are three sections to the comb, as, as everyone knows. And if you don't, I'm going to tell you anyway, and even if you do. Uh, there's where they raise the, the babies. Oh, look at there's a great big drone right there on Hosh. That is a drone. That is a male. Get it off. Be no, he get, likes you. Get the drone off. Get the drone on. Get your drone on. I hate to drone on. No, I don't. I love droning on. So the um, there's where they raise the babies, of course. And there's where they store the honey, which is what we're after here. And we're getting a sheet load of it. Oh, look at he's disappearing. Oh, the monster grabbed Josh and dragged him up into the attic. This is a horror movie. This is yoga hour. Yeah. <laughs> we're putting the ow back an hour. Yoga hour. Yeah, killer bee uh, and honey. Oh, my God. Look at this it's shenanigans. This is just like... It's, it's like a horror movie where the thing in the attic dragged Josh up and we never saw him again. Hey, Reed, you want to hit the trigger on that sawzall? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, let's see if this thing works again. Nope. Boy, we might have burnt her out. Oh, boy, that would be weird, wouldn't it? Uh, shit. Hold on, you guys. i got to set this down for a second. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, here it comes. Uh, oh, my God, how much you got there? Oh, you must have 60 pounds. Look at how heavy that thing is. Holy crap, is it? Wow. Can you uh, check that saws all out? Yeah, sure. It's a lot of really good stuff. Wow. I can't believe this is treasure. Yes. Absolute treasure. Wow. Be beehive number one. All right. Maybe switch out batteries and see what's going to work. That's a full battery. Yeah, I know. Pull it out and put it back in. Yeah. Not just need to re reboot. Nope. God damn it, I think we killed it. Oh man, D E D D it. I, yeah, yeah, I've never killed a sawzall. Yeah, well, I'm sure I have, but not. it's been a while. That's how good the rigid tools are. Um, man. Alright, you want me to go back up and just keep going? I would like to go look for another sawzall unless we can reach it from here. Well, we already got two thirds of the cut done. I think I can reach it from here. But I won't know until I. Cut that down. Yeah. Well, if you get that little reciprocating saw, the little other one. What, the, you mean the, the multi tool? Yeah, the multi tool. Alright, here you want to hold this yep. for a second? Or do you want to put a battery on it? I can go for the, I can go for the multi tool. Okay, it's right here. Yeah. It's in there. If it's just a small cut, yeah, and yeah. I have tons of blades for it, should I see if I got a, a bigger tooth one? It don't matter. It's literally like a three inch cut. Right? Oh, the, shit. Oh, then. The tip of the triangle. Uh, regret, no, grab the multi tool. Oh, you had to. Yeah, I see what you're doing. I knew that. You already got a blade on it. 
Okay, well, that one should work just fine. I charged up all five batteries. But yeah, I'm glad you did. Yeah, boy, we'd be chewing on them. So, Josh, how's it going up there? It's nice, comfortable. <laughs> we provide the ideal working conditions <laughs> for all killer bee removal experts. Oh, look at this. It's just ridiculous. La, 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 la. Just a Sunday afternoon in the sun. Sunday morning. It's still Sunday morning. Does that work? Yep. All right, here we go. Well, three inch cut. Here you go, Hosh. What a mess, huh? Oh, look at me. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, look at me. Nope. That stuff's too thick. Yeah, it's thick. Is there any, right. any pulling it down or you no? Know, you know what I'm feeling right now? Uh, water. Water? Oh, we water. You want, some water? You want, oh, you want to go, uh, go to the truck? You want to go to the truck and get some water? Yeah, give me just one second. I'm going to see if I can... Muscle it down? Yeehaw this thing down. Yeah. You want a bigger pry bar? You got one. You want a hammer? Uh, yeah. Here. Absolutely. We got pry bars up the pry bar app. Here's the uh, hammer. Hello. Huh? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go get some water, Don. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for caring. Yeah, we're gonna. I mean, go. it's not hot out. That's a, a kind of an illusion. No, no, but I'm, I just, I just hit a point where I'm like, I need, I need to hydrate. It ain't breaking, is it? No. No. Man, it's fine. I'm it's so down. thick. You it's so thick. Yeah, we need to take a break and get some water. All right. Or you know what I'll do? I'll look through and see if we have a bigger. Here, can, can I we get a coarser tooth? Huh? Can I hand you this for a second? I want to move those closer to the. Oh, building. out of the sun. Yeah. Um, if we find a coarser tooth for that uh, multi-tool, will that work, Josh? Uh, or is it too thick? It's just too thick because that blade is an inch and the the wood is three quarters. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. My God, what a mess. All right. Well, let's go get some water. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Pull it down. Yep. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, these gorillas are uh, really uh, nice. Worthwhile. Yep. I'm going to see if we have a uh, hose maker. That would be Oh, well, that would be great. There should be a hose bib right there by that little wall. Oh, yeah. Your turn. You want it, or are you too sticky? I'll take it. Nothing. Right. <laughs> All right. Want to do a little rinse on the hands? Yeah. Maybe we'll set that on the. Uh, this will work here. All right, very good. All right, who wants their hands rinsed? Get underneath waterfall. Cascade waterfall. Cascade. Multi washing. Better? Yeah. The bees like the water. <laughs> they got it all here. All right, let me get another one. So damn sticky. <laughs> They're staying mean. Yeah, you know, they, they ain't calling down at all after all this time. Yeah. Some more? Yeah. You want some more? No, I'm alright. I'm well, yeah. Since it's waterfalling. Get into the awful waterfall. That's much better. Uh, alright. I'm gonna grab one more and wash mine off. Okay. And then here's some uh we drink right through the net, of course. Yeah, of course. I was going to say... Here. What are you thinking? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash your ass. Oh, thank you. I could use that. I'm going to give everybody a bath. I don't have as much as you guys, but... I wonder if we should set up a couple clamps. A couple of what? Clamps. clamps. Glue. Glue. What do you it's think? all over the place. Fuck it. Yeah, I think we should wait till we're done, let them calm down a little bit, and they get the bowl. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Good. All right, so this is how 
we get stung. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. And of course, we pour some on top of the head, too. Oh my god, this nice. More? Alright. Hosh? No, I'm good, thanks. Alright. Well, I'm glad we started tearing into this early. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. Almost got a bee in my water. <laughs> Whoa! Pour that on your head. That is cold. Oh, hello. I just poured water on my head. It's fucking cold. Hello. Whoa, man. That was a little wake her up or pick me up or holy shit. <laughs> you used to have an Audi. Look at that suit. Yeah, that so thing. that was a new suit an hour ago. <laughs> the bad part is look at Oh everywhere. It just coated. Yep. There's nothing you can do with as much wood as No, it's just the way it is. Just the way it is. So here's how the professionals bring water through their net. And uh it, it's it's yeah, it's weird. But look at this works. And also the beard and mustache. Well, there's one crawling right on where the water was going in. If it wasn't for your mustache, you would be looking better. That's why I grow it. You would be looking better. That's why I grow it. It would be swelling. Look at this. They just haven't let up at all. You get stung? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm attempting something. There's never been. I am good. <laughs> so, I, I think he's rearranging something. What's he doing? He broke his wrist. Oh my god, look at that. It's just... <laughs> he snaked his hand through his glove. It's like inside of his suit. And I'm not going to ask what he's doing. I don't care. All right, let's uh, go over here. <laughs> oh, his whole arm's missing. His whole arm is missing. Wiggle it around. That's a good look. Oh my god, look at the bees. So when you get stung by bees, it makes your, uh, fl your flesh jello. Oh, yeah. oh my God! We yeah, haven't gotten stung once. Shouldn't have said that. Okay, well I heard the brake whistle is over. Oh my God! Is there a ball of them up there? Out there? On the outside? Yeah. I mean, well, how about what the old front door? Well. Oh wow. Here. Oh. I'm gonna. You wanna take them? Yeah. Hey, you guys gotta see this. It's more dramatic. Yeah. Could you stabilize this? Uh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Wow, look at this, guys. Oh, more. Look at that. Wow. Those are remnant bees. Unreal. Wow. Well, I'd rather them there than in the air. Yeah, that's good. Maybe we'll get some wasp and hornet on them after. Oh, yeah. Right. My God. You know what I really love? Uh, when people say, we need to save these bees. Right. And it's like, these bees in particular? <laughs> yeah, not these bees. We're not saving these bees. No, we're not saving honey bees. They're invasive. We're well. Saving. You know, you guys want to have some fun. Hush uh, and I did an interview Friday morning on... Um, KBRPLP Radio, which is the Bisbee local station. Nice small little station. You can see it on our YouTube channel. Yeah. And um, the full length, and it was a whole interview uh, about honeybees and killer bees and native species and whatnot and invasive species. Uh, you guys want some uh, questions answered? Just check it out. It yeah. Really it was, came out well. That was that was a lot of fun. That interview. It really came out well. Yeah. It really did. We uh, we got to speak our speak our minds a little bit yeah we got to speak our minds sink our teeth into it and te teach people a lot of why we do what we do and uh no there's no relocation or recleaning and all that bullshit because honeybees are invasive to the western hemisphere and host came up with a really good one at the end of the interview and that is you cannot be an environmentalist and keep honeybees in the western hemisphere yeah. you got to clarify that all can't be an environmentalist first and keep honeybees second in the western hemisphere third because they're invasive to the western hemisphere they hurt our native pollinators and actually hurt our native plants too because our plants are not in tune with that what what did you call what is it a, called a buzz 
the pollination. Oh, buzz pollination. Buzz pollination. Yeah. Yeah, where the bee, the like a bumblebee, will get to a flower and vibrate at a certain hertz, a certain wavelength, uh, radio frequency, electromagnetic, like 600 hertz or something like that, that will cause the flower to put out its pollen and nectar. Bumblebees don't do that. They're just Viking. Or the honeybees don't do that. I mean, hun honeybees yeah. don't do that. They're Viking. Bumblebees do that because they, they were, they evolved side by side with our native plants, but not. Well, and honeybees are invasive. There were no honeybees in the state of Arizona before 1872, for God's sake. So, yeah, all this bullshit about save the bees. Well, I'm all for saving the bees. Which ones? Yeah. Right. Let's save uh, not the honeybees because they're invasive here. Yeah. If you're in. Europe, Asia, or Africa, fine. Save all the honeybees you want. Yeah. That's where they belong, but not in the Western Hemisphere. It's just so weird. All right, senior, did you get your arm back? <laughs> all right, let's go up and have some more fun. We got a, still got a bunch of folks with us, though? Yes, we do. Well, when you get into a job like this, this is like epic. <laughs> Oh, look what's working. Hey, there we yep, go. Yep, it cooled off there enough. There we go. Yep. So all the working, we can get down that last one and see how extensive it is. Perfect. This is the biggest one. This does remind me of Lonnie, of private lady. Yeah. Yep, that one was a nightmare. Yeah. Hers was easier to get to, though. Oh, anything is easier to get to. Good Lord, what a pain in the ass. Oh, soft beds. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to pull your pant leg down because it's creeping up your leg. All right. There you go. go. Hold on. And you're good. Hey, Lee. Did it stop? It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Oh, uh, nah. I don't know. Do you? On off, on off. Not, is it? It's almost there. You got it gets overheated right now. Woo, there it is. Oh, you're almost there. <laughs> hey! I need to throw that here. You want to head down? Hold on, he's got one more cut. Oh, cool. There it goes. All right, I got it. Thank you. We'll have to put this in the cooler. You know, actually, I'm glad we did that. I do too. Hand that down. I'm glad we did that. Look at the column. They're building it sideways. They, yeah. You know what happened? It fell. Oh. The piece fell, and they still take care of it and clean it. They just don't use yeah. it. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Can you get the camera up in there? Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be dripping honey, but yeah. That's... How far did it go? Oh my god! Yeah. And that's all honey. Yeah, but that's the natural end. Yeah, so. you see how it's curved, how it curves up, as opposed to where like we cut it? That's how we can tell it's the natural end, because a beehive has no straight corners except for the six sided cells when they first make them. <coughs> Other than that, everything is curvy and smooth and curvy. Wow, what a huge hive! I mean, she's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, well, uh, more cuts? Yeah. How's this going to work? Well, you got a bin right there. Bin right here. And cut into it, yep. Well, if he's going to cut that, do you want this back? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do it that way. Or I can get a bin and start working from this side, and you can go over there, or vice versa. Oh, yeah, flip floppy sides. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to start cutting this way, and I'll start cutting over here. Oh, gosh. So let's get that second bin up here. we got a couple of cutting lines. More shit in the eye. There's shit in the eye. Oh, great. Perfect. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. Back at it. All right. Back at it. So, so just to clarify something, check this out, okay? Listen. 
because I, I saw a comment on there and I, I just want to be real clear and you can do your research on this okay all honeybees are invasive to the Western Hemisphere there were no honeybees in the Western Hemisphere before they were brought here by the colonists in the early 1600s or mid 1600s okay there are ledgers where colonists are writing to England saying send hives okay there there are there's there were no honeybees in the Western Hemisphere before the colonists brought them here that's number one those were European honeybees that they brought we have a map at the end of our YouTube videos that shows the invasion of European honeybees from east to west there were no honeybees in the state of Arizona before 1872 there were no uh, there were no honeybees in California before the 1850s they were brought there and then they spread the second piece is the invasion from south to north which began in 1957 in Brazil in 1957 in Brazil they crossbred European honeybees with African honeybees to create Africanized honeybees these are what we call killer bees and they invaded then from south to north and they are currently invading the United States from south to north so that's the fact of the matter both European honeybees and Africanized honeybees aka killer bees are invasive species these bees that we're removing today are Africanized honeybees also known as killer bees that's there, there's no question on this this is what is you can disagree but what I'd say is go do your research go research what I'm saying you will you will come back and say hey this is true okay just laying it out there right. resistance is futile Let's cut comb. <laughs> I have, <laughs> looks straight up, he's got a whole pile. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> there was nothing that could be done. Nothing that could be done, except laughing and cussing. And yeah. all that good shit. Alright, here we go. Here we go, mm -hmm. good day. There it goes up all Serious cutting, part. guys. Right, that's the, that's the tricky part. It's just, it's just pink. I just can't believe the size of this thing. Well, we were right about the 300,000 bees. Oh, yeah, Reed. Will those, will those stand up in there? We called it. Yes, they will. Yeah. Well, just from seeing the the massiveness. Did, hey, Josh, did you see the ball of bees on their old front door? Oh, man, you should see it. Out it's got to be 10,000 bees out there. It's like a, it's a full-on swarm. See, this is a back door that they had that they didn't use. There you guys can see in there. But they... Um, there's not too many there, but oh man, on the outside, as you guys know, there's a oh, sheet load. That's the Latin for it. I'll take you back here. No, I'm not going to fall off the damned roof. Man, I can't really see anything anyway. A bunch of angry bees. Oh my god, I'm so glad we started now because see, the sun is coming up over here, over the roof. And uh, it would be, in the afternoon, this would have been impossible because it would be literally 100 degrees. Yeah, on this side of the building because the sun goes down behind me and so that would have been absolute fucking hell god thank you guys so much for coming with us really appreciate it this is just um and oh my god look at this what he just pulled up look how thick look how thick that is so unusual but it was going around a corner and they built around the corner yep oh my god that what is that 10 pounds yeah, at least Oh my god. Ten pounds of honeycomb. Wow. I, you know, this looks like pure mesquite to me. Um, it, it should be darker for to be a wildflower mix <clears throat> right here in town. Um, of course, that's all mesquite out there between here and those buildings. And they can make a shitload of uh, honey from all that mesquite. And also, honestly, over there next to that RV park, that's all mesquite also, so there, this is not really a residential area. There's one house there. Uh, so maybe it's got to be that color, that light of honey. 
That's how you can tell, I can tell as mesquite is uh, the lighter the honey in our neck of the woods, the more mesquite flowers the bees are messing with. And then as they get into more wildflowers, people's fruit trees and gardens, honey gets darker. This is all, all mesquite that I can see so far. Uh, it, it's astounding. But, but right here, we're not really in town, honestly. We're kind of out on Highway 90 a little bit here in Sierra Vista. We are in Cochise County. We're 20 miles from uh, Tombstone. Uh, we're in the Wild West. We're literally in the Wild West. And um, and also, Hosh went out this morning to the slaughter ranch on the other side. No, yesterday. Uh, this, um, with his wife and the kid. They had a baby boy, as you guys know. And uh, they went out and got two more goats from uh, from uh, Fred and Vicky, our buddies out there at the slaughter ranch. If you guys come down to visit down to Cochise County, you got to go to the slaughter ranch. It's amazing. It's a journey to get there. About 17 miles on dirt. Who cares? There's nothing out here. Beautiful oasis in the desert. Oasis in the desert. So, anyway, he went out and got a couple of goats. And you can see videos of us out there at the slaughter ranch uh, removing bees, putting up bee traps too, hanging bee traps in the field. One weird thing is that Hosh said that he didn't see one bee out there yesterday. One honeybee. A lot of native pollinators. That's the point. So, native pollinators are good. The less honeybees there are, the more, more native pollinators. Honeybees are invasive. And as a rule, when we see more honeybees in an area, there are a lot less native pollinators. Not good, because they drive them to or near extinction. Yeah, honeybees are invasive. Uh-oh, what do we got going on here? We got two tubs. Are we going to need more tubs? Yeah, uh, we might. Huh. We might. I'm feeling this. So this is number... Oh, we got a we got an unsheet load. That's the Latin for it. So we already have two... Uh, Two tubs full, about probably 120 pounds there, maybe 130, and they're doing, they're duplicating that, and that's just honey, that's not the brood, so, which again, oh yeah, I didn't finish explaining, the brood comb is where they raise the uh, babies, which we aren't concerned with, although the chickens, horses, chickens love it, because it's full of larvae, and they eat the whole damn thing. How's it looking, Josh? Good. All right teamly working together. Yeah, tag teaming it. That's really awesome. That's just like, uh, wow. Well, I'm to a point I can reach, but I can't catch at the same time, so I'm going to wait on Host to finish what he's doing. Then he's going to catch and I'm going to cut. Oh, right. Oh, there you go. You cut and he catch. Yeah. If you look. Oh, look at how white. Through. All that white. Uh, can you reach it from above or no? Yeah, I'm going to reach it through the But through you the can't roof. catch. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. can't catch it. Right. Right, so as soon as he gets done. Yep. We're gonna play together. What a <laughs> Satan's sandbox. Wow. I just cannot believe the quality of comb that we're getting out of this and the quantity. Uh oh, Hosh has another big one coming down, it looks like. What does that one weigh? Okay, FYI, we have to stick that one in another one because that has this is all cracked at the bottom. Okay. It's all gone. So we have to double up. You okay? I'm just stick in the bladder. You, you're, what? You have a stick in the bladder? No. <laughs> so you see this is all cracked out here. It's about to fall apart. Okay. Um, so we have to set it Inside another in another tub. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go get some more tubs. Okay. Very good. Wow. Look at this. Really, really unbelievable. That'll clean up just fine. Those, uh, see how they built around the, the twigs actually? And those will just pull right out. That's just grass. I cannot believe the quality of this comb, you guys. It's just now that the dark comb. They can put really light honey in dark comb. The darker the wax, the older it is. The they've stained it. I mean, from use, from literally decades and decades of use. Here, in particular, I'm saying 25, 30 years. Wow, look at this. You can just drop that in there, huh? Oh, here he goes. Oh, he is. That's all solid honey, everybody. All of that is solid. There's 200 pounds up there. Oh, amazing! This multi-layer roof. Wow. It. I think that's why I was holding it up. <laughs> it's like, it's like so many layers of. Uh, look at that. Wow. Really astounding. You got more tubs there, Hosh? He's not there yet. He's not walking around. Oh, here he is. Him. Yeah. All right. You okay? Yep. Since when? <laughs> Um, we have to double up on this one because it had a hole in it. 
Just leak honey all over the damn place. Oh well, say let me. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I hope that fits in there. How's the hoo ha crowd? This is really an unusual large hive, I'll tell you. Just takes decades for him to do this. Wow, so impressive. Yeah, thanks for sticking with us, everybody. This is a this is an epic one. This is really, really unusual. It kind of reminds me, without any honeycomb, of the logistics and whatnot of the um, the one up in uh, Wilcox at the truck stop. Oh, good. That should do it. I. <laughs> I, I guess. I'm glad we brought them all. Yeah. And this is a different style. Right. Yeah. You already got that. Yep. Yeah. So we can just... Yeah, I can see how cracked that one is on the end. Oh, I think we lost one of our cameras. Okay. Yep. Which one? Probably overheated? No. It, um... Battery dead? Battery dead. Yep. Battery dead, yep. Which one? Uh, the one over here, I don't know if it was uh, this one. Oh, that's TikTok. Uh-oh. Yeah. Can we go uh, plug it in? Yeah. Yep. Facebook is still on? Facebook and YouTube are still on. Yeah, and the capture. And the capture. I'll just leave it. Yeah, leave Cause it. Because you know TikTok. Okay. Well, if we do lose everybody, um, if our batteries run out, it happens, you know. Uh, this is a long one, that's for sure. Yeah, what time is it? I don't even know. I have no idea. What ready time is it? Every... Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm about ready. It's daytime. It's daytime. Yeah, it is. No, really. Somebody commented we've been out for three hours. I don't know if that's true. No, it feels like four. Well, to you guys. It feels like about 20 minutes to me, but you know. Anyway, if we do lose you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. If our batteries die, we love you guys. Thank you so much for coming with us on these shenanigans. Um, you know, I'm going to do as if I was doing a sign-up, because we just, if our batteries die, they die, and that's life. But this is an epic one. But we just love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Go to KillerBeeGuy.com and get some honey. We love you. Bye. Now, don't go away, because we're still here. <laughs> Until our batteries die, but just in case they die, then we'll have a place to end it because this is just really ridiculously epic, I'll tell you right now. All right, so these guys are going to cut and uh, don't go away yet, guys. We lost uh, TikTok because our battery ran out, but that's how life goes. Which makes me wonder about the yeah, rest me, of them. I want to stack it in What? Thanks. Like that, it right. And boy, thank you. Again, thank you guys so much. You, the Killer Bee Nation, the family. Oh my God, thank you for answering questions. All of you on Facebook that know what we are talking about. And and on YouTube that have you know been with us on jobs and understand the situation because I can't see I can't see the comments so thank you for answering comments and clarifying basically educating people clarifying people about these uh, these honeybees so anyway back to uh, back to the action how's it going gentlemen good we're getting there wow we're still on Facebook and uh, and, uh, and YouTube we lost TikTok unless unless they threw us in jail again <laughs> no I think the phone phone uh, died. Yeah, I know. The battery went out. I know it. Yeah. Gee, Friday, what an epic. So, you guys, you know, I used to do this alone. Yeah? Yep. For about 15 years. And I would have been here all day. Dying in the sun? Uh-huh. Yeah, literally dying. Yeah, uh-huh. Slowly but surely. Or fastly and surely. That's a big and don't delicious. call don't call me Shirley. Wow. Unbelievable. Too too bad we don't have running water, I'll spick it out here. There's gonna be a little bit of cleanup back at the ranch, that's for sure. It's coming down. Ah. <laughs> that's good. Wow, what a deal. Incredible. Oh good lord. So at this point, we don't have anything lined up uh, for tomorrow, but that doesn't mean shit, as you guys well know. Uh, uh, who knows, we could get a call right when we get this done, get in the truck. On call, emergencies. 
if you do have bees in Cochise County, do not hire an unlicensed person to remove them. Do not do it. This is way too dangerous. And if your brother-in-law or whoever the hell else you hire to do it screws up and gets themselves stung or a neighbor's dog stung or a neighbor stung or some kid walking by on the street, you're liable. You as the homeowner are liable. So do not hire unlicensed people in in Arizona or anywhere else for that matter. But we're we're here, so I'm talking about here. And the also the uh, Department of Agriculture is coming down hard now on um, unlicensed people operating in the pest control industry. Do not do it. Do not even think about it uh, because the fines are oh my God, they're heavy. Better to get licensed. It's, it's not that big of a deal, really. Osha and I are both licensed up and. And uh, Josh is making a guest appearance. Don't, uh, yeah, don't do this. Don't, don't try to make a living. Out. See, they changed the laws so that doesn't. It's not about pesticide use anymore. It's about. Um, I mean, that's a, that's most of it. That, that's 90, 95 percent of it. But the stickler is uh, how they catch everybody now is it's if you advertise and or charge. If you advertise and or charge for any kind of pest removal, yeah, you can nail you. So be careful. Holy shit, that's number four. Number five is up there, it's about two thirds. Oh my god, what does that one weigh, Josh? 60, 70. Good lord. So we're up at around a couple hundred right now, right? Uh, Los Rinos, yeah. Oh my god, there might be a different lid here that'll work with. No, does that one work? Okay. That is really, this is just like uh, Santa Claus coming to town and shit. Wow, incredible. So, uh, A, if you're unlicensed, don't try to do this and advertise and charge and all that shit. Don't really relocate these bastards. I mean, what are you trying to do, a disservice to the community? It's unethical. These things are evil. It's like, a, like I tell people, it's like a, taking a landmine from your yard and putting it in someone else's. Why would you do that? And if you requeen it, that's adorable. Because here in the state of Arizona, uh, it's a temporary fix because all of the feral hives are Africanized. So, if you have a nice European hive and your queen goes with a swarm, and so you lose your nice European queen, or she dies, or a, uh, an Africanized hive comes in and moves in and takes over, kills all the bees, and either steals all the honey and goes home, or worse, moves in, your hive is Africanized. Oh my God, look at that, number five. And that one's full too. What do you think, Josh? We've got at There's least two more. at least another man up here. I think two. Yeah. Jesus! I am just So what was that one? 40, 50, what? About the same. 60, 70 pounds. Yeah, 45. Yeah, 45 pounds. Wow. I am really uh glad that uh my predictions came true. <laughs> Honestly, they were not as mean as I thought they were going to be. Although this, I mean, you know, doing this every day like Hosh and I do, it's like, well, yeah. this is adorable. It's you know. at least a three, though. Oh, it's a three, 3.5 on a yeah. scale of one to five. But, um, and if you want to see a five on the videos, of course, go to uh, watch Portal from Hell or Worst Bees Ever or uh, Zero to 90 and... Oh, yeah, Zero to 90 and 2.5. And 2.5 seconds. Um... <laughs> You can check out those vids. A lot of what we're getting now, honestly, are robber bees. I can see the way they're hovering around. They're kind of like, these are bees from neighboring hives because in a three mile radius, all the beehives know about each other. And you know, people have been driving by this for decades and this hive was happy as hell back here in an impossible place to get to. And uh, that happens all the time. They're under people's sheds. They're everywhere, these hives. And they're invasive and they're horrible and kicking out new hives all the time and so uh they are an actual threat so uh anyway back to if you uh charge and or advertise don't do it, do it so if you're out there thinking you know you can do what we do you might be able to but if you're unlicensed you can get nailed hard i mean they are serious and then also um if you're a homeowner don't have unlicensed people do this shit i'm serious and make sure you get a guarantee we guarantee it for two years in this location because they will come back now why we do that is all those wherever they were attached up there uh to that roof the underside of that roof 
all that's all soap and pheromones uh, or smells. Uh, pheromones are just smells. There's millions and millions of them. And so that's all soaked with pheromones, and they smell good, and they, they will attract new bees into the future. New swarms. Swarm will fly by and go, oh my god, this smells good. And just move right in. So we have ways of treating it, of course, so that that doesn't happen. We still guarantee it for two years, even if it does. Like I tell everybody, we guarantee it. We will come back. Don't want to, but we will. And, um, so make sure you get a guarantee if you get a licensed guy to do it. If you're in Cochise County, just give us a call, you know. I mean, this is what we do. 520-227-5429. We go all over Cochise County. And usually, you know, we we'll go to Portal and Bowie and Wilcox all the time. Sunsight, you see us up there all the time, of course. And Douglas, Sierra Vista, blah, blah, blah. Tombstone, Wild West. And um, so just give us a call. And my direct number is 520-227-5429. So... Uh, yeah, if you got if you got bees, don't risk it. And they're not just honey bees. And no, they're not good for the environment. They're invasive. They're hurting our native pollinators. So please get rid of the damn things. The honeymoon's over. You know, the, the lie has been exposed. So let's go see how these guys are doing. Like my hands are so damn sticky. I can barely handle the holder of the phones. Oh my god. I was looking. Oh, still going. God almighty, I tell you, this would have taken me, I would have had to bring a tent. Reed, this is shaping up to be one of the biggest troves I've seen. Yeah, well, I have to admit, uh, we're up to five now, and we're working on six, right? Six, and it's all, like, we're getting so much, you know, intact honeycomb out of this. Wow, and it's not too hot, so when we get back to the ranch, it'll all be good. Yep. This is amazing. We may have to go to Food City and get a burrito. What do you think, Josh? Oh, I love that. What do you think, Josh? That. You like burritos from uh, Food City? Sounds like a winner. Sounds like a winner. Boy, oh boy. And they're only four bucks a piece, so yeah, I buy the expensive shit for these guys. Anyway. Um, but they are bean and cheese burrow for uh, four bucks. Bean and cheese burrow for four bucks at Food City. Holy shit. At the deli? Awesome shit, man. Fresh made right there. You know, we get pico de gallo and cheese. I'm hungry, obviously. I love you doing a commercial for Food City. I'm doing a commercial <laughs> just for the deli at Food City. No, actually. There's two things about Food City, the deli and the music. Uh, the music is all oh, 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 Mexican. I love it. Oh. And the butcher. It is, yeah, the butcher is good and the produce is great and everything about it. So that was a free plug for Food City. <laughs> Oh god, anyway. Obviously I'm hungry and thinking well, I've spent hours. Oh my god, this is it's exhausting watching these guys do all this shit, I'll tell you right now. Where's the rest of it? Huh? Is it over? I don't think so. I can't believe how little brood we got out of this. See the the homes of bees hanging down? Yeah, I think it's on the other side Did he just say it's over? I think that might be it. Did you just say it's over? I think it is. Let's let's pull that down. I'm gonna go explore. Well, ask, uh, grab the flashlight and look. I mean, yeah. It's... Yeah, the flashlight is down. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Okay, Hosh has number six. I mean, Josh. Has, somebody has number six, yes. and is having trouble getting it. What is that one? Looks like it weighs fifty. No, it's lighter than that. It's lighter than that? Yeah. Just awkward. It's just awkward. That's how I am. Lighter than that and awkward. Here. Yeah. Incredible, you guys. Even on that far, Beautiful. Far. You're getting hungry. You're getting hungry. You want some honeycomb. Okay, anyway. And we have to put lids on them because robber bees, I've watched, I've seen, I've made the mistake of leaving a lid off of a bin like that, full like that, and in one hour it was empty. Well, it had just empty comb in it because robber bees would steal it all. That's it? That is it. Holy shit. All the honey comes down, and we were very fastidious the way we were cutting. Oh my god, so you really scraped it off. need to be scraped. Well, we need to spray it. But I mean, there's not much mm. scraping to do. No, scraping? No, I, well, no. Very little scraping. Well, some. Yeah. We'll get some propolis out of it. Yeah. But, um, wow. Yeah, you guys cleaned her out. That's mm -hmm. it. Holy crap. Yeah. Look at how big that was. Yeah. So that's, uh, what is that? Four feet side to side, you guys? Oh, Because it goes all the I way mean, over. it looks like six from end to end. Six. From here to here, six, probably six by six. You think, Josh? Six by four. Six by six four? By 
six by I mean, five. You know, the whole thing was in a triangle. Six know, by basically. four, six by five by a foot deep average. That is, yeah, this is the biggest one that I've seen in a, I got a couple of years, I think, or maybe even longer. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I guess it's cleanup. Should we go ahead and uh, say goodbye before these oh, things? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, well, we love you guys. Thank you so much for coming along with us. We're just, just clean up now. You saw all the shenanigans. Um, yeah, clean up and get out of here and go have a burrito. So, uh, all right, we'll say goodbye. Oh, Josh, thanks for coming along with us, man. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. Uh, I mean, holy shit. Saved my life. <laughs> yes, indeed. He made me comfortable and... Uh, <laughs> Actually, thanks so much for coming along, buddy. Really Absolutely. appreciate it. All right. Love you guys. I'm going to hand it over to host to say goodbye and uh, go to killerbeeguy.com and get some honey. Holy shit, what a job. Here's host. Hey, gang, listen. If you got bees, if you're the owner of an establishment that's been sitting for years, you know, nothing country going Western on. Club. An old country western club, and you got bees coming and going out of the, what do you call this roof? A mansard. A mansard roof in the back. Call an exterminator. Don't call a beekeeper. Killer bees are in all the lower 48 states. Honeybee Africanization is on the rise everywhere in the U.S. And, uh, you know, it's just not worth the risk. Get rid of your bees. They're all invasive. And uh, save our native pollinators. We'll see you guys on the next job. Thanks for hanging with us. Reed, can you pull my glove off there? Pulling his finger. Oh, yeah. And maybe pull my... Yeah, I think that's a damn good idea. Down a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. All right, All right later on, everybody. Love you guys. We'll see you later. See you in the funny papers.